Good evening, YouTube. Welcome into Duty Ron's channel once again. Welcome, friends, replay viewers, live viewers, all viewers. How's it going? Monday evening, Duty Ron with another live NYPD radio call show. We are going to be covering again New York City's toughest streets, the NYPD 7375. Jana. First, Janice Wolf in the building. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Guys, this broadcast is brought to you by NYPD. Gayla, oh my goodness, it's my good friend Gayla. Holy sweet mother of Jesus. Good to see you, Gayla. Thanks for joining. Hi, sissy love. Katie F is in the building. Nice to see you, Katie. Thank you, Jersey Girl. Hey, thanks for joining, Sandy. How are you guys? How's everybody doing? Let me get this a little bit angled a little bit better. Okay, cool hat says Josh. What's going on, Joshers? How are you, my brother from another mother? Good to see you, Josh. Hi, Kelly K. So we're listening to the New York City Police Department, 7375 Precinct. Heidi, great to see you, Heidi. I'm so used to seeing you on Antimone's channel. And I'm glad to see you here on mine. Good to see you. Are you a cop? Says Donnell Corbett. I am. If you look at the title, it says retired NYPD detective. Frank, welcome in. How are you, Frank? Good to see you. Thanks for joining, guys. So welcome in. Hope everyone had a really good weekend. And I'm hoping that everybody is having a good start to the new week. Good start to the new week. Hello, Cat in a Hat. Wow, Cat in a Hat's here. Everybody's here. Nurse Nanny Patty is in the building. Good to see you, Nanny. Thanks for joining. Appreciate you coming in. So we're listening to some um, some live uh, police radio calls, and I will break down the assignments as they come over. I will break down the assignments as they come over. We had two calls for shots fired already before I went live. There is now a unit that's in response to a, an emotionally disturbed person with a knife. So we'll see how that goes. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Just watched the lovely ad for me. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing that. I'm, uh, I'm appreciative of that. I'm very appreciative of it. Thank you. Thank you for that. So let me, let me send out an invite. Talk amongst yourselves, guys. I hope the video quality is good. It looks a little grainy to me. Hi, Mary. How are you? Good to see you. I'm just going to create a public post. So just bear with me for a second. Okay. Hi, guys. Gala, how are you, Gala? I haven't seen you in so long. Um, it's always great to see you. Thank you for joining. Jana, thank you for, for that. Hi, Mary Westenberg. Good to see you. Could you please tell us your favorite 911 call ever? Favorite? I mean, uh, I mean, most 911 calls aren't favorites of anybody's, you know? When people call 911, they're calling when the, uh, when it hits the fan. Alexis! Good to see you, Alexis. Thanks for joining. How are you? How's everybody doing? Good to see everybody tonight in the chat. I greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on in. Hey, Bridget Parker. Good to see you. Aaron Leahy. Do you save a cat? Did you save a cat or something, Duty Ron? Uh, I've saved many cats and I've saved many dogs. Uh, many animals we've saved. Definitely. Definitely many um, uh, animal rescues, we used to call them. Margie Rocks, how are you? Addie's mom, wow, Addie's mom, great to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. Most interesting 911 call. Um, you know, our shots fired calls were really were really hectic, but family disputes are the most dangerous. Um, you know, we've had, I've had, you know, I've gone on numerous uh, 911 calls from everything and anything. Tammy Hudson, good to see you. Thank you for joining from Utah. Um, so, so I... 
So I did a decade on patrol. This is a, a dispute, an assault family, assaulted by her boyfriend. Male black, 5'9", wearing black sweatpants, no shirt. So that's a, an assault in progress. Here we go. Let's hear this call. Hello from Missouri. Good to see you, Ryan. Thanks for joining. So a family assault, boyfriend assaulted a girlfriend, a male black, black sweatpants, no shirt. 34 is an assault. These are tough calls coming over right now. So she just notified the sergeant. She just notified the sergeant because the sergeant has to respond on all of these calls. Hello, Pusa Studios. Good to see you, Andrew and the missus. I don't want to mess her name up. Hello, Antimon Lane. Good to see you, Auntie Lane. So let's hear what the sergeant has to say. And let Here we go. She's calling for the midnight sergeant. So these are these are calls where the adrenaline is pumping on the responding units. They're, you know, they're responding with lights and sirens to this call and um, units will units will converge on the scene very quickly to these calls. Seven five Charlie Minute. Uh, I was not in the army, no. Five, Wife is sleeping. Okay, so the seven five precinct is calling for an injured prisoner for an ambulance. Eight or 10 hour shifts, eight hours and 35 minutes, Frank, 8.35. And then when I became a detective it was 8.23. I remember those numbers like it was yesterday. 8.35 for a police officer and 8.23 as a detective. Lieutenants and sergeants did eight hours and 15 minutes and then they got overtime after that. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you for that. Hello, Black Rose. Good to see you. Good to see you, Black Rose. Hi, Miss Coley. How are you? Thanks for joining, guys. Thank you for joining. If you don't mind, please invite your followers and share it out onto your social media. If you can, please make a public post if you have the capability. Uh, it's great to do that um, to help out content creators. I do it every time that I go in to uh, people's broadcast. It's a great way to get out the message to uh, all your troops. Um, if you really like what you're seeing these these kind of broadcasts I like to do once a week So I do these broadcasts once a week so everybody can see um, the dangerous side of police the dangerous the side of the police Deco Deco paint and tea good to see you Another Another assault Somebody stabbed Somebody stabbed at that location This is a second assault call. Another call for a male who tried to sexually assault. Thank you, Kelly. Stabbing. Here's a, here's a person stabbed in progress. Nobody's answering the call. Yeah, it's a full moon. Like, it's really, the moon is really bombing tonight. It is so bright. It's the same location. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Everybody who shared, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. So let me just tell Joey that I'm live. Good to see everybody. Auntie Lane is in the building. Good to see everybody. Thank you for joining, guys. This is um, 
this is my overnight once a week that I usually do here at my um, um, little little side gig that I have going on. So this is um, a one night appearance. I'd like to give you guys this type of live stream once a week. So you could look for this every Monday or Tuesday night from me. Um, so it's um, this is a good way for you guys as the public to see how stressful it is with the New York City Police Department, the largest police department in the world. 40,000 men and women in the NYPD. This is just one precinct. This is one precinct's area, one section of the New York City Police Department. We love you right back, Janice. Thank you so much. This is a good insight to a police officer's midnight shift. Uh, uh, the shift that I worked was midnights. I preferred the midnights. You were able to do a lot more, cover a lot more ground without the traffic. There was a lot less people around. Unfortunately, some of the drawbacks to working at night is there was some more of the violent calls. Very busy, a very busy shift, the overnight shift. A lot of people who are drinking, a lot of people who have disputes, a lot of things go bad in the middle of the night. So um, it, it, uh, the, the night shift is definitely one of the roughers. The four to 12, four to 12 is a very busy shift. Hi, Sandy. Sandy, love the eagle. Love the eagle. So let me do some. Let me do some inviting on uh, Instagram. I love Instagram. Uh, I have a. Uh, I have a big group that I sh share out. It's uh, about seventeen hundred people. On uh, I preferred the. O I preferred the overnight shift because I had two children who I raised. Okay, there's a unit on the scene. Eighty four means I'm on the scene. So there. So they don't see anybody there at the location. They're asking the dispatch for a callback to call back for a better location. So there's a unit on the scene, but they don't see anybody stabbed. So they're calling They're calling up dispatch on the radio, asking dispatch to try the callback to see if there's a better location for this potential aided victim, aided slash victim. So good to see Allison. Good to see uh, Gala in the building. Gala, I miss you. I hope you're hanging around. Hello, Max Cobra. Good to see you. Hope Timmy is doing good. Um, I love the third trick when I was younger. The, you, you work the third shift. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, when I was an elementary school teacher, uh, I could tell when there was a full moon because the students were all wild. There you go. Coffee, donuts, sirens, and, uh, and, and prayers. Yeah, that's a truism. That's, as Tori would say, those are truth bumps right there. Okay, here we go. Seven five. No stab. No stabbing. A regular thirty-four means a regular assault. So the victim is not there, but they're, they're being told by people on the scene that someone was assaulted. It's just the uh, third party caller telling me about the occurrence. Third party caller third party telling I'm him. I'm going to call back for the actual female and I'm going to voice now, okay? All right, tell them So they don't have the victim. They have a third party caller who must have saw the assault going on. Uh, the assault, the, the perpetrator is gone. Hello, Sam the Schnaz. Good to see you, Jen. Um, the perpetrator is missing and the victim is missing. How are you trained for domestic disputes? Uh, we received domestic violence training. We d received training in the academy. I'm not going to go over that training here because that would be giving up uh, important tactics to potential uh, perpetrators. And I'm not going to give up police tactics on how we're trained on domestic violence on a live stream. I hope you understand that. No disrespect or anything, but that's not something that I would speak about here. But, but trust me, we are trained in that. We are trained in it. Hello, Paper Angel. Guys, go subscribe to Paper Angel's ASMR. She uploaded a new video today. Hi, Christy Lee. Much Hello, love and respect. Good to see you, Christy Lee. Uh, Matt Sully is here. His dad uh, has passed on, but is a former NYPD captain. I used to work for uh, Matt Sully's. Shots fired. We got shots fired. 7-3 Precinct, shots fired coming over. Response to shots fired, 425 Federal Avenue, Powell to Junior. Three shots were heard inside the building. 
Three shots fired inside the building. There's units responding right now. This is a tough call. Here's my coffee mug, courtesy of Meg Lowe from Southern Cal. People smoking marijuana and shots fired inside the building. These are heavy calls, guys. These are heavy calls. Let me scroll back to Jana. Uh, Pusa Studios is saying hello. Everybody, if you're not subscribed to Pusa Studios, go check out his channel. Him and his wife run a really respectable channel. I highly recommend you guys go and check out Pusa Studios. He is so... Here's it just... Male female dispute. Male female dispute. Uh, Pusa Studio, Pusa Studio supports and um, also does live streaming to give you tech talk. They do um, all, a lot of different various lives. But Pusa Studios is about supporting the community. So go and check out his positive page. I was a, a special guest on his page, and I was honored to be on there on his channel. So go check out Andrew and all they have to offer at Pusa Studios. Great, great people over there. So uh, definitely, definitely appreciate Pusa Studios and everything he does. Thank you, sir. Eagle stands for uh, Fly Our Forever Eagles Fly Philadelphia Style. My PD is my favorite cop show besides um, original series. I love the original cops show, but Live PD is definitely cool. Live PD is definitely cool. Um, so, um, uh, wildlife, why do you believe that having the internet has made it harder on police officers uh, because movie move is back, judge different opinion is watched and judge different opinion? Listen, it's a different day and age of policing than when it was back in the 90s. Uh, everything is on film. Here's another fight. Another fight here. There's a ton of activity going on right here. This is a busy night, folks. This brings back memories here, guys. This brings back memories for me. Drug dealers and weapons. Drug dealers and weapons. Wow. Okay, so this is a busy spot right here. Uh, definitely, um, I, I, I am for body cams. I am all for body cams. I think it's safe for the civilian. So it's a family dispute, no stabbing. There was no stabbing. There was no stabbing. Uh, I definitely miss the men and women of the police department, but I don't miss the job. I'm 58, so Cops was my first cop show, but Live PD rocks. Sandy, I'm 55. I'm catching up to you. In a few short years, I'll be at 58 as well. But uh, yes, I agree with you. I definitely agree with you, Sandy. Um, Deuteron, is your job just to monitor calls? You never have to respond to them. Yeah, this is. I'm doing this for you guys. This is for you guys, um, uh, just to give you an idea of what my job was like. So um, I'm retired, uh, Auntie Lane, so I don't have to respond to jobs. Uh, Black Rose, thank you for everything you do with the moderation. Black Rose and Winky are my are, are on it. They are on it big time. Thank you, Matt Sully. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I feel body cams are for the civilians' protection and for the police. It's a two-way street. You know, there's no gray area with body cams. It's either, it, you know, if you get accused as a police officer doing something wrong, it's on the body cam and it can exonerate you. Or if you did do something wrong, it protects the civilian. So it's a two-way thing and I feel it's good. I personally, that's my opinion. Some other cops don't agree with that, but most, I think the overwhelming majority that are not doing anything wrong agree that it's for our safety as the police officers and, and for the civilians. And, and, and there's no gray area with that. Uh, I am 100% for body cams. Uh, look at Pusa Studios with the with the wrench. Look at Pusa Studios. He's rocking out. He's rocking out with a wrench. Holy crap. Pusa Studios in the building. There you go, wildlife. I'm glad that you're happy to hear that. But if I felt a different way, you know, I respect everybody's opinions here. Here's a heavy, heavy bleeder. 
So this this could this this could be a simple assault, or it could be something really bad. Hello, Grant. Good to see you, Grant McIntosh. So a lot of family disputes going on here tonight, guys. A lot of family disputes. So that's a male, female. Wow. Holy cow. So they're throwing a commercial burglary uh, in, 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 the mix, in the mix of all of this craziness. They're throwing in a commercial burglary at this time. So the five David is the seven five David. Hey Ron, I have that hat. Wow. Excellent. That is fantastic. I love it. Grant is a fantastic. I've seen him in my lives quite a few times. So thank you, Grant. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Your local police and your military, I greatly appreciate the support. I greatly appreciate the support. Sam the Schnoz. A female being followed by a green minivan. I don't know. Joey, uh, Joey is um, negligent. Domestic violence is very common. Uh, it's a, it's one of the most common Tracy calls. It's time for we have one in uh, David Texas completion at 24 at 756 Howard Blake to do one private house. This is an assault in the past. These these assaults just keep coming. The assaults keep coming, guys. At Grant McIntosh, I got to check out his stuff. I got to check his stuff out. I got to check out Grant's stuff. I'm going to go and check out his channel sooner than later. Hi, Grant. Uh, hello, Susan Mundy. Good to see you. Hi. Welcome in to Susan. Everybody say hello to Susan Mundy. She is in the building. Great to have you. More. Another shot's fired. This is another shot's fired in the 7-5 precinct. Michelle Vogel, good to see you. It's East New York, Brooklyn, and Brownsville, Brooklyn. It's two separate areas. East 75 is East New York, 73 is Brownsville. So she's looking for an available shots fired unit. Excellent, Cherokee Grandma. I know you told me that once before. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And guys, listen, if there's anybody new in here, welcome into the chat. My name is Duty Ron. I am a retired New York City police detective, and it is very, very my pleasure. It's, I'm very happy to welcome you guys into my, uh, into my live stream. Here you can feel safe and not be attacked in the chat. You guys are all, you know, respecting each other. We're respecting each other in the chat, and it's all about peace and positivity and learning. Good to see you, Kim. Thank you so much for coming in. Kim, uh, great to see you, Kim Francis, in the building, a good friend of mine. I'm doing well, Kim. I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. There he is, the man of the hour, Joey Brooklyn. We need to get Joey Brooklyn to 1,000 subscribers tonight. He's 75 short. Still nobody to respond to shot, shots fired. Oh, hey, Melissa, how are you? Oh, my God. Let me subscribe to you. Hold on. Hold on. Tailgating Queen. Let me subscribe to your channel. First, I got to add you as a moderator. Um, good to see you, Melissa. I, I'm so happy you're here. Much love and respect. Uh, Joey and I were actually talking uh, uh, on the phone tonight, and we both mentioned you, and we're sending you peace, positive vibes, love, and respect, as always. So great to see you. I'm so happy you're here in the live tonight, uh, Melissa, and I'm, uh, I'm always thinking about you. I'm always thinking about you. So thank you, Addie's mom. Thank you. Thank you. 
So these are these are the rundowns of all the calls that are not answered. She's giving out the rundown to the midnight squad of all the the, the shifts just changed. The shifts just changed. Mary, Joey's late to the party. The shifts just changed. Uh, good night, Ron. Big hugs from Joey, uh, from Frank. Frank, love and respect to you. Thank you for all, all of your service, what you've done in your police career. Always great to see you. Uh, yes, this show with Ron has no drama, zero. Very peaceful. Chat is, everyone is welcome. That is correct. Uh, This is all the calls. Back when I was 18, first apartment, a man across the hall was beating his wife. But being 18, living by myself, I was scared to call the police because he was a police officer. It always bothered me. You should have called, but you know, you were young and you, you know, now you're much smarter and wiser. You know, life is full of trials and tribulations. And you never know how you're going to react in a certain situation. But, you know, you are you had the right idea to call, but you were scared of retribution. And I kind of don't blame you. But looking back at it, now you know you would do it. You know, you would call. Um, there you go. Thank you, Pusa Studios. Guys, if you're not subscribed to Pusa, you're not subscribed to Joey Brooklyn, please subscribe. Michelle, Ron, is there a shortage of officers in that area? No. The shifts are changing, Michelle. Is There's a small period of time where the shifts change and um, the calls just get a little delayed. It's a very dangerous period, but that's how it happens. Um, there are units out there, but there's not enough to answer all these calls. But the, the Midnights are just starting to get their cars in and they're going out. So once the full troops are out there, you'll see that these calls will get answered right away. It'll be, you know, boom, boom, boom. But there's a small hiccup. It's about 10 or 15 minutes a small 10 or 15 minute hiccup. When it gets busy like this, it get you get caught and the uh, calls get backlogged. But there's sergeants and super, there's a sergeant. So the sergeant's taking the calls. So when that happens, the supervisors are always out there. There's never no cops out there, but there's just a shortage. It, don't think of this as like a sheriff's department in a small remote area. This is an inner city, a very, very highly populated high crime area. So there's about 175 cops out on the street in this area alone. Now, I said 175. That's a lot of cops. Some police departments don't even have that number in their whole department. But that's just for the midnight. There's 175 cops going out on patrol on the 4 to 12 and midnight. So you have a full troop of cops just in this one area. That's a lot of cops, almost 200. So... You know, it's it's a you know this is massive. The NYPD is a forty thousand member police department, larger than the Italian Army. The Army in Italy is smaller than the police department in New York City. Uh, you can find all the Duty Ron's links and the merchandise. It's all in my bio. You could go straight to my links to my um, straight to my bio, and you could go right to my Streamlabs. I got my merch store on Streamlabs and all of that stuff. Uh, we got coffee mugs on there. There's a whole slew of stuff. Shirts, you name it. Everything. Um, hope you're having a good day, says Bridget Parker uh, slash night at Pusa Studios. There's a Brownsville post. All right, one last thing I want to do. I want to invite on to Snapchat. So let me get my Snapchat group, and there's about 300 in my Snapchat group anybody that wants to be added to the duty ron family on snapchat uh, send me a, a request duty ron 52 there's my good friend ed caffrey he's a retired nypd police officer he retired a long long time ago but he worked in uh the ninth precinct uh sixth precinct that is uh raiders of the lost arch uh eddie caffrey retired nypd police officer Thank him for his service, everybody. There he is, Edward Caffrey, personal friend of mine. I went to his wedding. He came to my wedding. I've known Eddie over 35 years, and he's a retired NYPD police officer. Please go and subscribe to his channel. Edward Caffrey, put up some emojis. Put up a couple of police emojis or something so everybody could see you. I want everyone to subscribe to my good friend, Ed. Personal friend, he was at my wedding. 
28 years ago, and I was at his. We are like brothers from another mother. We got a lot of, lot of history, him and I. So um, he is a, a lifelong friend. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. I want them all to subscribe to you anyways, whether you have a channel or not. So, Eddie, good to see you. Send my love to Elise and the girls. Much love and respect. Thank you, Miss Coley. Thank you for the numbers. Uh, good night, everybody. Good night to Tailgating Queen. Good to see you. Um, Melissa, keep, the, uh, keep me updated on the situation. I, I'm sending you positive vibes and strength. I'm sending you strength and positive vibes. Please, love and respect. Everyone, please give a little prayer emojis for my good friend over there. Uh, Melissa, she's leaving. Um, she's got some situations going on at home. Uh, tailgating queen needs all of our love and respect. So please guys give some hearts, spam the chat. I'm giving everybody permission to spam the chat with the uh, hearts for my good friend, tailgating queen, uh, Melissa. She's a great, great friend of ours from Periscope. She needs love and respect and strength. So please everybody send out some positive vibes to my good friend, uh, from Periscope. Love, love, love her. There you go. Bingo. Look at that. Look at all the love coming out from Little Love and Janice. Auntie Lane is in the getting in on the parade and getting in on the party. Stay in touch. Keep in touch, please, please. And I, I sent you a, a private message with my phone. If you need to talk, if you just want to text, you can send me a text and I will answer at any time. So much love and respect. Thank you, Eddie. There's my friend, Ed. Grab him. Subscribe to his channel, even though he's got no content. You never know. I might have Ed as a call-in on my Zoom. I might have him do some Zoom call-in with me one night when we're doing some police talk. And I might have him call in and he can give you guys perspective. He's an old-time cop. from. He's an OG. He policed New York City in the 80s. Eddie, when did you come on the job? Was it like 82, 86, somewhere around there? When did you come on the job, Ed? Uh, around, in the 80s, right? 1984, 1984, he started as a police officer, a New York City police officer. He's seen everything under the sun. When he was a, a police officer, there was, there was no holes barred. You could be a real cop back in the day. When, when he was a cop, there was no, you know, no restrictions. You were able to do your job without scrutiny and all this stuff. And everybody walked a straight line when you saw the New York City Police Department. So um, I thought we weren't supposed to do emojis. I made an exception, Addy's mom. I said, spam the crap out of the chat. Spam the chat for my good friend, Melissa. But now we'll go back and we'll, we'll resume regular operations. So the radio got really quiet all of a sudden. Uh, the radio got really quiet, which is uh, really strange. But we'll see what happens. Thank you to everybody sending respect to my good friend, uh, Ed. Uh, good night, Anna Monley. And Auntie Lane, you're going? Auntie Lane, you're leaving? No, she's not going anywhere. She's hanging out. Auntie Lane's hanging out with us. All right, let me spam my uh, Snapchat group. Let me spam my Snapchat group real quick. Stand by for... I was still a mess in 1984. There you go. There you go. You better not go anywhere, Auntie Lane. Otherwise, otherwise I'm not coming into your chat anymore. You need to stay here for a good hour and a half. Said, I'm only kidding. So guys, if you're new in on the channel, let me know where you're watching from, your city and state, or your country. Uh, I have to go live soon. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Wow. Joey, Joey, Joey. All right, so I am spamming my um, my Snapchat group. It's okay, Susan. I didn't, I didn't know how to use it until I started live streaming. Life of MC, good to see you. Hey, 
How are you, Life of MC? Guys, so we're listening to live police calls on the New York City Police Department's uh, 73 and 75 precinct. So these are uh, live police calls coming in from New York City Police Department at this time, guys. So that's what we got going on here tonight. Okay, no shots fired. He just canceled the shots fired. He said it's unfounded. 90X means unfounded. Trying to get this just right. Okay, good to see you, Life of MC. Much love and respect to the Philippines. Guys, let me know where you guys are watching, city, state, or your country, so I can give you a quick shout out if you're new. If you're not new, then okay. Um, so I like to get some of the new people. And uh, hello from Oklahoma. Good to see you. Thank you, Nikki Malo uh, Maloy. Am I saying that right? Maloy? Uh, I don't think it's Maloy. Mol uh, anyways, Nikki, good to see you. Um, Sue Monday's been here. Sue Monday's been here for a bit. Michelle is here showing some love. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I hope everybody in Oklahoma is safe. It's really, really dangerous, crazy tornadoes. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff going on weather-wise. Dawn, good to see you. Howdy, right back. Hello, Deb, good to see you. Thank you. I love you already. New from California. How about this? I have family that lives in Mission Viejo, right outside of, um, right outside of Laguna Beach. So I get to California at least twice every five years. I go two times between every five years into Southern Cal. So I'm, I'm a Cali guy. I go to California a lot. I've been watching tornadoes and all kinds of crazy weather in Oklahoma. Camden, New Jersey. Good to see you, Camden. Thanks for coming in, Donnell. Good to see you. Um, so hopefully I didn't miss any of the comments. I pride myself on uh, paying attention to the comments. Sunny Florida says Cheryl Serrano. Good to see you, uh, uh, Cheryl. Thank you so much. West Coast is beautiful. I want to retire and go to Venice in, on the West Coast. Venice Beach, uh, right close to Sarasota and Siesta Key. I love that area. Love, love Siesta Key. Beautiful. It's like being in the Caribbean in Florida. I love Siesta Key. I don't know if anybody here has been there, but it is freaking beautiful. All right, let me take care of a little maintenance here. Let me take care of a little maintenance. Callie loves you right back, Ron. Thank you. Yes, be safe out in uh, Oklahoma. My dad went there every year for work. Wow. Hey, take care, Eddie. Thanks for thanks for uh, coming in. Guys, there he is. He's on his way out the door. Thank you for your service, Eddie. Thank you for being a friend. And most importantly, thank you for being you. So... Talk to you soon. Eddie Caffrey. There he is. He's exiting. Retired NYPD police officer. Please give him a subscribe. Subscribe and thumb it up. What is happening here? Okay. I just... I just hit the scan button. All right, everybody saying good night to Eddie. Everybody saying good night to Eddie. Hello, Mark. Good to see you, Mark. Mankind in the building. Good to see you, Mark. Mark, how did you get here? Nah, I just hit the I hit the scan and it was going all over the place. That was my fault. I I re immediately realized what I did and stopped it. Uh, Siesta Key is the prettiest beach ever. Al Alexis, the sand is like powder. It's like baby powder on your feet. I, I don't know. Has anybody here been to Siesta Key, Florida? Legit, the sand is like baby powder on your feet. All right, let me let me reel myself in. Uh, I found you on my feed, says Mark. Well, that's freaking outstanding. So yes, yes, the key. My wife and I have been there twice, and it is paradise. It is like walking in baby powder. No joke, guys. Walking in baby powder. It is freaking awesome. I highly recommend everybody check it out. Yeah, it's got a pinkish tint to it. Pinkish tint. I have pictures of it. I have pictures of me and the missus uh, in Siesta Key. Unbelievable, guys. Key West is beautiful in Key Largo. Jersey, 
Bobby. Thank you, Mark. There it is. How's the single? Uh, I am doing mobile, no stream labs. I'm doing the native YouTube app. The reason I did the native YouTube app, um, sorry, I'm back. My daughter was up. I got you. You got to, you know, fatherly duties call. You got to go. You got to go. Uh, this was a mug that was purchased for my birthday, which was April, by one of my good friends, Meg Lowe from California. She's also a Patreon supporter. If you're, um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the, uh, hit the notification uh, bell, and also go and check out dutyron.com. If someone could put that up in the link, I'd appreciate that. Dutyron.com here in the chat is everything that you want with Dutyron and also with the police department. You can get links to the NYPD's website, links to Crime Stoppers, and domestic violence links, links about cyber crime, links about cyber bullying, and links uh, to everything crime related, related on dutyron.com. Yeah, this is a great mug and it keeps the coffee really warm for a really long time. Kim Francis, good to see you, KO Live. Thank you so much for coming in. Much love and respect. Everybody say good night to Kim Francis, a great friend of all of ours. Thank you, Auntie Lane, for the link, dutyron.com. There's a clickable link and you can find everything, my Patreon, all the links to my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my uh, my Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and Snapchat. And all of my, my live stuff on YouTube goes direct to my website and all of my previous lives are right on my dutyron.com. So you can link directly to my dutyron site and see everything on there. You can see all of my social. If I go live on Periscope, you'll see it. If I post on Twitter, you'll see it. So it's turnkey there, turnkey. Uh, so it's really good. You can also check out my Patreon page if you want to become a Patreon supporter and help support this channel. That's another good way to support the channel. And you get a lot of inside perks on the Patreon. You get some free piece of merch. You get a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff on uh, on a Patreon support. And my lowest level is, I think, around 10 bucks. So 10 bucks gets you uh, everything duty run. Total access. Anyways, the radio the radio is still bouncing here, guys. The radio is bouncing. Oh, I want to say something else. One other thing before I forget, guys. I went to my P.O. box today, and it was a dozen... Uh, cards in there between mass cards and condolence cards from my mom's passing on the 9th of May. So my mom passed away May 9th, which was a couple weeks ago. And I hadn't been to my PO box since she passed. And I went today and I'm telling you, I had tears in my eyes, guys. I went to my PO box. There was a dozen, there was 12 cards from you guys. So everyone who sent those cards, I don't have them here with me, so I can't rattle them off, but I know Auntie Lane was one of them. Um, Joe, um, Joe, I think Joe Schmo was one. Definitely Auntie Lane was a beautiful card. She's got some great handwriting. She wrote, she wrote me a beautiful message. So thank you to everyone who sent, um, sent the, um, condolence cards. It was very nice. And it, I'm, I'm not, I'm just saying, I wanted to acknowledge them. It doesn't matter whether you did or not. Everybody here has sent me messages and reached out to me personally. So thank you so much for that. Very, very, very appreciative. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Aunt Timon. Thank you. Uh, Janice, so very sorry. I lost both of my parents in the same year unexpectedly. So I feel for you. I feel for you too, Janice. My heart breaks. Thank you so much. Uh, questions at duty on how do police officers keep their morale, the morale up when they start their shift and the calls keep coming in when their shift uh, last ended? It's difficult. Uh, let me tell you, it's difficult at best. Uh, Cherokee Grandma says, Duty Ryan, you're amazing. FYI, so many people on so many channels have always mentioned how great you are. I really appreciate that. I respect it. I really do 
uh, work hard to have a great community here. Hi, Kay Grant. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining, Karen. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was really wonderful. Hello, Veggie Vibes. Good to see you. I pride myself on running a very respectable channel. So um, thank you so much for that kind message. Thank you for everyone's kind words and kind messages. Okay, so they have a, a dispute on Sutter in Georgia. That's a pickup job on the street. So he sounds like he needs assistance. Hold on, guys. I'm turning this up. Sounded like he needed assistance. Here we go. Love you right back. Love you back. It was a foot post that had a pickup of a dispute on the street. It sounded like he was out of breath. This is going to turn into an all-out officer needs assistance. Thank you, Janice. And the, the respect and the feelings are mutual. The feelings are mutual. I'm going to I'm gonna answer your question, Pusa Studios, in two seconds. Uh, Andrew, I'm going to answer your question in two seconds. Just give me a second. Stand by, guys. I just want to hear what happens here. Housing unity on here. Housing unity. So this is a... Here we go. He's having problems. All right, so a unit responded for backup, and they said no further. That's not the unit that put the thing over. So this is not the officer that put it over. This is backup that's saying everything's okay. But you can hear the screaming. You can hear the ruckus. This is all on the street going on right now. That was a pickup dispute probably amongst a group of people or maybe two people, and they're in the middle of a fight. So. So this is a different call. So you got to realize there's multiple calls. Multiple units talking, multiple jobs going on, multiple calls. It's it, There could be 20 wor different working jobs. So it's hectic. It's a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure on the dispatcher. You know, I give these ladies and men a lot of credit. It's not easy dispatching for the largest police department in the world. So I give these people a lot of credit for keeping everything orderly for the most part. So you got to give a lot of props and respect to the dispatch. 911 dispatch. Yeah, they, they have to be wildlife. If you're not on your toes, you could get somebody really hurt. Um, so what I want to say to Puso Studios is uh, what happens is, is I've been at roll calls on a, mid on a midnight shift. I've been on a roll call where um, I'm, I'm, standing at, I'm standing at roll call and I hear the radio playing at the desk. And we're sta threats on the phone. So someone's calling their phone and threatening them. Like there's like a bell intercom system. So a person's threatening. So a white BMW pulled up, hit the bell, the intercom and threatened to kill somebody. So here's another call for threats to life. These are kind of standard. Believe it or not, these are standard calls. Guys, if you haven't shared out this broadcast, please send it out onto your show, social media so yeah, people can watch the replay. People could come in and get this information and see what's going on. Um, but Pusa Studios, what I was saying to you is that I've been standing at a roll call waiting to go out for my midnight shift. And I've heard the dispatcher tell us that she's holding 200 calls. There's 200 calls in backlog. So that means the 100 or so officers standing in the line have to handle those hundred calls right off the bat. We have to start taking two and three calls at a time. Each unit has to take like two or three calls. So it is hectic at times and you have to do them in a priority level. Like, you know, you're obviously gonna respond to a shots fired call as opposed to someone 
someone that's uh, playing loud music. You know, uh, it's just kind of, you know, it's kind of, you see where we're, what we're dealing with here. So these these types of situations go on day in and day out. They go on day in and day out. Thank you, Bridget. Thank you for the kind words, love and respect as always. Thank you. Uh, the life of a police officer, especially here in New York City, NYPD police officers deal with so much stress, so much. Duty Ron, hits shared in my Facebook, okay, about to drive. Okay, drive safely, drive safely. You're welcome, Andrew. And and that's the best, you know, we would, at the end of our shifts, yeah. here we go. Four shots fired in the rear of a housing project. They have they have technology that can confirm shots fired. Uh, it's like laser pointing technology, and that was uh, operations. Here we go. This is confirmed four shots fired. I know Sam Schnauz, Jen. It is unbelievable. So there's. Four shots in the rear yard. Nobody called 911. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher West. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Antimone. Thank you. Thanks for posting it out. Appreciate it, guys. So I've shared it on all my social. I've shared it out on all of my social. The only thing I haven't shared it on is Facebook. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to share it onto Facebook. I'm going to make the plunge. I just shared it on my Facebook. I mean, my Instagram, I think I have around 1,800 subscribers on Instagram. Uh, Nikki Mack, how are you, Nick? Good to see you. Uh, my mom recently got a call for a German Shepherd that managed to nudge a window open and get out of the roof. Sent me pics of her boys responding to the call. Nikki Mack's mom is a 911 dispatcher. And um, much respect for all the dispatchers. Uh, and any 911 operator has got a tough job. Whether it's a, a densely populated city or a, a small inner city. It's not an easy job to do. So thank you for sharing that with us, Nikki Mack. And great to have you in on the broadcast. Much love and respect to you as always. I freaking love Nikki Mack. She is awesome, awesome sauce. And her husband is a lucky guy to have such a great wife. Uh, so Nikki Mack, great, great gal. Uh, yeah, it's, listen, we all worry about our parents, you know? Let me scroll back for Bridget's comment. Wow. Wow, Bridget. Crazy. Yeah, back in the day, it was crazy. So so a bunch of people... People drinking and smoking on the street. So this is a call for a disorderly group. They get it. She is our Canadian princess. She's trying to say that she's part of America now, but she's really she's really Canadian at heart. You know, she's she is an American citizen now. Congratulations on that. But she is Canadian all the way. She's got that she's got that that leaf. She's got that maple leaf always on her back. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Black Rose. Do not want to give medical advice. Um, yeah, they do CPR. They give CPR advice.
Um, do, 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 do. Hi, Crispy. How are you, Crispy? Good to see you. Uh, good to see you, Two Gun. Thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you. I don't know anything about uh, the updates. There's nothing to report. I only report. Um, I only report on when there's updates. So everything is status quo uh, on on uh, on Valerie's case. Okay, this is where I used to work. Twelve twelve Loring. This is the pink houses, Joey. Sam the Snaz, thank you so much for the super chat. We really appreciate your service, Duty Ron and NYPD. Thank you for your service and your friendship. Uh, Sam the Snaz, thank you so much for that super chat. Much love and respect to you on that super chat. Uh, I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, the police job is a thankless job. It's a difficult at best job to do. But you know what? There's tons of guys and gals out there doing the job 24-7, 24-7. They're there to, to, you know, protect and serve, to, to do the best job that they can do in, within, the, within the set of circumstances that they have. And you know what? Sometimes it's not easy because you got to make split-second decisions. You know, someone comes at you with a gun or a knife. Somebody comes at another person on the street. We're there to protect life and property, you know, and at the end of the day, these decisions have to get made in a split second. So sometimes mistakes do get made, but it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Uh, hi, Debbie Ar uh, August. August? Or is it August or August? No, that looks like August. Uh, I would tear my hair out with that job. Look at what happened to me, Susan. Look at what happened to me. Same thing happened to me. Hi, Ann. Good to see you. Good to see you. Look at what happened to me. For crying out loud. <laughs> Look at what happened to me. Take care, Auntie Lane. Good to see you. I'll talk to you soon. Veggie Vibes is in the building. It's all about the Veggie Vibes right now. Veggie Vibes is in full effect. He has abandoned Periscope for Duty Ron until Duty Ron uh, ends his YouTube broadcast. Uh, Auntie, thanks for coming in. Thanks for moderating and doing all of the good that you do. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. My dad was approached with a machete and an axe on the job. Thankfully, he was able to de-escalate. Woo! Thank God. Thank God for that. Uh, guys, so uh, forget about duty, Ron. Everyone subscribe to Joey B-K-L-Y-N. Oh, wait a minute. Joey B K. A sexual assault, guys. So that's a, this is a sexual assault on Hegeman and Amboy. That's a 7-5 precinct. I'm craving Mrs. Duty, Duty Ron's pretzel. Oh, my God. Miss Coley. You have your RP, still waiting, okay? Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable pretzel. Respond to 347 Hegeman between Herzl and Amboy. So apartment 11, David. Male states females being sexually assaulted by male black lights in an apartment right now. Uh, this is a sexual assault in progress. Yeah, but that's the chronic location. But I'll check it in five. Ten four, thank you. Show the apartment's history. Just survive alive, okay? Okay. The unit advisor, it's a chronic location for false calls being reported. Yeah, I'm on. So they, we have a list of one. false call. It's almost like the Boy Who Cried Wolf locations. So this is more than likely going to be a 90X, which is an unfounded call. Uh, the officer put over, this is a chronic location. Uh, I mean, I wish I could replay what was ha Like, I wish I could rewind, but I can't. Uh, but th this was common uh, when I was on patrol as well. We would get a lot of fake calls that would come in. Uh, fake shots fired, fake murders. Uh, and okay, it's, shot, shot it's, it's, been, it's been cut down, but it still exists. It is, it, it, if you're caught, it is a felony. Jonna, if you're caught doing that, it is a felony. Can you believe the coffee, the coffee inside here is still hot? And this has been in here over two hours. I need you to start a police on narcotic use at 784 Jamaica at the BP gas station. And yeah, also, uh, it happens, Debbie. Keep your advice to two Cypress Court. That's what... 
So at the end of it all, guys, it just goes to show you how busy the precinct is, how busy the 7.3 and the 7.5. And this is just a small, this is a small taste of what goes on in the uh, NYPD. You know, I could sit here and go to 75 other precincts and give you a look at different areas throughout Manhattan, throughout the Bronx, throughout Brooklyn, throughout Queens, Staten Island. It just, just I mean, I could change it. I could change this channel and we can have busy busyness all over the place. I need a housing for 52 with a knife at 300 Dumont. 300 Dumont. Dispute with a knife. Dispute with a knife. This is a new call. Bye, Kiwi. Bye bye. Two males are fighting. One has a knife. Trevor, Trevor, your ears must have been ringing. Me and Joey were talking about you before. So they're going to this call with the uh, with the knife. Trevor, good to see you, my brother. Fourteen Henry. They got to go all the way up to the fourteenth floor. If the if the elevator's out, those cops have to go up the stairwell, fourteen flights, and then possibly fight somebody up at the, the top of that sergeant. 14th floor. Housing Brownsville, Sergeant Cam. It's one to one. 10th floor, Monday 31. What's the worst area altogether? Uh, two guns, five, boy. this 7375 takes seven, the five, cake. Uh, but there are some parts up in the Bronx for, that are six, bad. Six, there's a couple of precincts up in the Bronx. The 4-9 is really bad. Uh, the 4-7 is real, real bad. But this 7-3 and 7-5, when I became a cop in 1991, I'm showing my age now, there was 2,200 homicides in the city, and uh, 350 were in these two precincts alone. Bed-Stuy is bad, too. But this takes the cake. This is the, this is the worst. This is the worst of the worst right here. <laughs> Let's not even talk about it. Let's not even talk about it. Yeah. So out of the 2,200 homicides in the city in 1991, 350 of those 2,200 were in this area that we're listening to right now. So. How's the Sergeant? How's the Sergeant? There you go. Thank you, Joe. Negative. Uh, just Guys, everybody follow and Joe's and lead. Okay, we also had to come in as a 39 physical fight. For a third party, they said, too, did someone fighting? Possible, Hispanic, and they hung up. They say, overheard someone say, do not pull a gun. So they... Different callbacks is the non They, they call heard out. somebody say, don't pull the gun out. Do not pull out the gun. So it was a dispute that involved a gun. Or talk of a gun. Um, yeah, it depends on what night it was, but it did. It did, some nights took more, some nights, some mornings it would took longer than others, and others I was just exhausted and would go to sleep. I, I worked patrol for a, over a decade, for 10 years. So I did this for 10 years. Not easy. Not an easy thing. There you go, Veggie Vibes. Yes, Jonna. Yes. I know all of these addresses. I personally ran into a lot of these spots. Lots and lots of shootings, yes. Back in, in the day when I was on patrol, 1991 to 2001, it was really busy. Real busy, guys. How's the sound? Is the sound too loud, or are we good with the sound? Yes, that is true, Joey. Is the sound too loud, or is it okay? Okay, cool. Hi, Sue. Ron, how do you handle all the anxiety? I never got anxiety. I never got anxiety. Um, Donnell Cor uh, Corbett says, great. How's it going? 91. Uh, 
Show me on a 61-1257 Lauren. So is Nikki Mac still here? I'm, I'm trying to do a roll call. Is uh, Paper Angel ASMR still here? Is Nikki Mac still here? Is Trevor still here? I think too. Is I don't know. Okay, good, good. Two guns. Joshua says I think there is cops, and then there's NYPD. There you go. That's a good one. Five out of one. I like that. Show me 98. You said Highland Remote? Excellent. To Jamaica. All right, talk Miss Coley is in the building. Miss Coley's in the building. Bridget, Ca Bridget Parker is standing tall and proud. She's still here in the chat. Uh, my Sergeant dog had to do duty. Enough. Literally had to do enough. duty? He had to yeah, drop a duty, Ron? A jean jacket on, no shirt, denim pants, and a baby with a blue blanket. To Hold on. Yes. Here we go. So we have a we have a description on somebody. He grabbed a four month old baby. Thank you, Alexis. The 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 call for the guy with the sh with the shirt off and the knife. A dispute with a knife. Can you advise if the person with the baby has a knife? He took a four-month-old newborn and took off with this baby wrapped in a blanket. So now the police are going to be canvassing and going crazy looking for this kid. Because now this guy just took the kid with a knife wrapped in a blanket at 1.30, uh, 12.30 in the morning. So now they're going to get a description. I think they said it was a green... A green blanket. Here we go. No wearing a jean jacket, no shirt. Carrying a baby with a blue, blank, a blue blanket. Baby with a blue blanket. So it's a boy. Uh, so that's the description of the perpetrator. He had a knife, had a dispute with his, the baby's mother, and then left the apartment, left the location. Now that she's going to tell the sergeant. Here we go. Here's the sergeant. The person with this carrying a baby, does he have a knife or no? We're a girl. He has a blade special. He has a knife. A 10 So you just be advised that male with the baby also has a blade, okay? He's got a blade. That's a knife. So the, he, he had a dispute. He injured his girlfriend or wife or baby's mother. He's got a four-month-old baby, and he's got a knife. He's got a blade with him. So this is a really dangerous situation. This is units are converging on to the scene and the sergeant is going to they're going to they're going to have to do a canvas and a search it's uh brownsville and east new york brooklyn you could look it up alexis so this is a priority job uh she's making notifications right now emergency services may be mobilized the aviation might start coming up the helicopters might coming up and they're going to put this out to all the adjoining precincts around. Exactly, Janice. Exactly. Prayers are needed at this time. Prayers needed. This is a very, very intense situation right now. Yeah, two guns. It's uh, Unfortunately, it happens all too often. I, I'm not even surprised by this, believe it or not. Yeah, so that four-month-old baby is with some irrational nut right now. This guy is out of his mind. Another family dispute, violation of order protection. You hear how these things just keep coming over? So now there's another violation of order protection dispute coming over. Another job. Yeah, uh, Pusa is the uh, paper angel. He is unbelievable. Him and his wife run a great channel. You got to go and check them out. Spend some time with them. It's well worth it. Here we go. Wearing a jean jacket, 
no shirt, denim pants, carrying a four month old baby with a blue blanket. He also has a blade. Yeah, with a full moon. So there, there was the full description. Male black, blue jean jacket, no shirt, and walking with a four-month-old baby. And has a knife. He's got somebody stopped. So this 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 um, unit has somebody stopped at Stone and Livonia. That's in the seven three, which is a different precinct. So they may have this guy. They may have him. How's the response? Here we go. One male stopped on Livonia and Stone. Let me get a unit over here. So he's asking for a backup. So they have this guy probably with the baby. Don't forget, he's got a knife. And he may be threatening the kid. So he's asking for backup right now. This is intense right now, guys. This is intense. I mean, you know, the suspense right now is killing me because I know as a police officer, I've done, you know, obviously this job. This is an intense situation right now. They're probably guns drawn on him or, you know, trying to calm him down to get him to give up the kid. He may be holding a, the knife, God forbid, up to the kid's throat or, you know, pointing it at the child. Um, so this is a real, really intense situation going on right now. You know, very intense. And I heard the sound of the voice of the unit that was respond that, that had this call. They sounded very stressed. Here we go. 842, okay. Everybody say a quick prayer. Thank you, Life of MC. Michelle Vogel is a super, super sweetheart. You cannot go wrong with her. She is awesome. Uh, I, I would say 99.99% .99 of everybody in this chat here are very, very, very good people. Very good people. So. Uh, two guns, Joshua. Where are you located? Uh, just out of curiosity. Where are you located? Seven. Seven, five, David, two. Thank you, Tracker 3. Thank you, Sam. Seven, five, David, two. Seven, five, David, two. Illegal eviction, 741 Pennsylvania, Hagman and London. Illegal, an illegal eviction going on at quarter to one in the morning. Five, David, one. Five, David, one. I couldn't make it at 1115, but you're here, Angie Payne. Thank you, Angie. Here we go. He's calling for a supervisor. Thank you, Sam. Amen. You're welcome, Angie. Eviction at a quarter to one. Thank you, Mr. Th here we go. Thank you, Mr. Gandalf. That's in regards to Dumont. Response has the male stopped with the baby in regards to Dumont, okay? Skywatch is 84 with him. Brownsville Sergeant is en route. Okay, so aviation is up. I'm a double psych major in crisis and addiction. Sometimes I still don't get these people. There you go, Two Guns. Well, Two Guns, I hope you subscribe to the channel. I'd like to have you aboard. I'd like to have you on board because... It's good to have somebody with your knowledge in here. So, thank you for uh, thank you for putting that out there. Seven three David one ten five the final please. Twenty four just to twenty nine ninety three Charlie show me on a ten two. Joey's got seventy subs to go to one thousand. Three Adam two. Show me on a sixty one at thirty six Hall Street. Uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. Okay, welcome in. Good to see you. 
I mean, always great to have new people. I mean, I encourage... Hold on a second. I, I'm really... This is... This, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> Charlie. I, I'm assuming that they got this guy under arrest. Response to an 80K 51 Junior Street, Pacific Telebity, apartment 314 for a two-year-old throwing up blood, permit to that location, ETA is Monday 55. You're welcome, Life of MC. You're welcome. Thank you so much for all you do on my channel. I appreciate having you in on my broadcasts. Great, great, great to have you. If I was your evasive? It's okay. David one. It's all right, man. We, you know, we're used to it. It's, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. No, 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 John. He, he's just saying he's not a fan of the people who put cameras on the police all the time. I, I knew what he was saying. And sometimes people just misconstrue what a text message is. He just said, I'm not a big fan of these cop watchers, meaning the people who put the cameras in the cop's face. Uh, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Mr. Gandalf. Here we go. They're checking the description of this guy. Hi, Sue. Carrying a four-month-old baby with a blue blanket and a Mickey Mouse baby bag. So let's see if they got an arrest here. Thank you, uh, Wendy, for. Subscribing to Joey. David, voicemail for Hageman. There you go. Everybody check out Pusa Studios and go subscribe to his channel. Check out all the great links that he put up. Uh, Black Rose, Matt Sully, Paper Angel, Auntie Lane. Uh, I don't even want to get into that, Alexis. Don't get me started. Hi, Kathy. Joey's wife is here. Oh, Kathy Sicilian. Time, Hello, Kathy. Good to see you. Maddie Sully, sub to uh, MC. She's How's great. Here we go. Here we How's go. Boy? How's it, boy? Come bus to Livonia and Stone. to a wellness check. So they have an ambulance coming for the child. So the wellness check is for the child. No worries, Jonna. I know where your your heart was in the right direction, Jonna. But I, I, I caught that real quick, and I just wanted to make sure. I'm glad that you didn't time them out or anything like that. And that's what's, that's what's great about all the people on my channel. They're not quick to stop somebody from speaking. So, Jonna, I want to say thank you for you exercising restraint. I know that you were defending me and the channel. So, very, very good uh, all around. So, it was a good, good thing, and I'm glad I was able to get that. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate that. I discovered last night that Sam the Schnoz is not a man. It is a woman. It is Jen. Jennifer, everybody. Um, there you go, Donald. Uh, uh, Donnell, I, I, I got to tell you, you know, if everybody thought like that, there would be a lot less problems. A lot less problems. It looks like they do have him, Cherokee Grandma, uh, from... My professional opinion, I'm going to say that they do have him in custody. I'm going to say that they do have him in custody, but I'm not 100% sure at this point. I'm going to say that they do have him in custody at this time. But let's see. He, they asked for the description. They called for an ambulance for a wellness check. I don't know, you know, any other reason why an ambulance would come. They're going to take that baby and have a check to make sure the baby's okay and then probably return that baby to its mother. And arrest this guy. You were traumatized to learn that he was a female cat. It's it's disturbing at best. It's disturbing at best. I had to take um, I had to take melatonin to go to sleep last night after I found out about Sam the Schnoz. I couldn't even go to sleep. I needed to take ten milligrams of melatonin. I I couldn't even say that without laughing. Uh, yeah, Sam the Schnoz really threw us all for a loop. You know, Jennifer, I I still think of Sam the Schnoz as some guy Sam with a big schnoz. That's all I think about. I think about a guy Sam with a big schnoz, like mine. A big a big schnoz. And now I got Jen, probably petite little Jen. Calls for help. 
you did drugs, you lived wrong in jail in 2009 and got saved and changed my life. Thank you. Listen, two guns, I'm happy and I'm proud. I'm, I'm happy for you that you turned your life around. You know, life is full of trials and tribulations and we all make mistakes. So uh, kudos to you and kudos to you for talking about it. Here we go. Here's the sergeant. Here we go. Positive. Positive. So the fu he, he's under arrest, positive ID, and EMS is coming to check the baby out. They'll, if the baby checks out, he'll be returned to the mother, and the perpetrator is off to jail. So it was a successful, another successful, potential, hazardous, dangerous, volatile situation handled by the NYPD without nobody getting hurt. They, the, the guy had a baby, four-month-old, with a, with a knife. They could have shot him. They could have, you know, anything could have happened here. Okay? So this guy was taken into custody without incident. The baby is safe, first and foremost. And the NYPD resumes patrol. They resume patrol on to the next call. Day in the life of an NYPD police officer. You know, so... We heard it all unfold from the beginning right to the end. It's okay. No worries. No worries. No worries. So that's just a unit. 7-5 seven, seven David's on a car stop. So the one under the one under arrest time is midnight 52. Midnight 52, ladies and gentlemen, Positive one under. Emotionally disturbed person. Emotionally disturbed person. Hello, Bridget. Uh, they should have given them beating. Kathy, I know that's old school. That's old school. There you go, Sam the Schnoz. There you go. Okay, Andrew, thank you for all your support in the channel. Andrew, you're a man of your word. Last time I was in your channel, you said I haven't been on yours. And sure enough, next time I went live, he's here for over an hour hanging out with us. So everybody, please subscribe and support Pusa Studios. They do a lot of good things for our community, for the viewers, for uh, a lot of potential uh, channels. They give tips to people. They review channels. They're doing a lot of good stuff. So Pusa Studios, everybody, go and check them out. Andrew, you and yours have a good evening, and God bless you up in Canada. Thank you so much for being a part of my uh, part of my channel as well. So much love and respect to you, uh, Andrew. Thank you for coming through. Excellent. Good evening for Occupy Stuck Elevator 335 Sutter, also at 24 and housing at 363 Dumont, at 52. Occupied Stuck Elevator and a past assault. Excellent, two guns. Uh, now in the process of applying. See, I don't know if you could be a corrections uh, officer here in New York because with, uh, with any type of criminal background, they don't usually, at least here in New York, in New York City, you couldn't become a New York City corrections officer. I know that for a fact. Thank you for those links, Sonia. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night, Pusa. Good to see you, brother. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for chilling out. Pusa, did you do a um, did you do a uh, a community post on this? If you haven't, if you could on your way out, I'd appreciate that so everybody could see the replay. That would be nice. If, if you don't mind, if you don't, you know, if you don't want to do that, then that's fine too. Don't worry. Um, Joey, I don't know if you were able to do community posts. I think once you get up over a thousand, I think you could do that. But you may be able to do a community post, post as well. I'm glad you're home safe, Winky. Winky Whispers is in the building. Thank you so much, Winky. They did. Jonna, they got him. He's under arrest. It's confirmed. The uh, the perpetrator that took that four-month-old child is under arrest. The child is safe and is, is being checked out by EMS. 
and um and and he's a, he's two calls two people fighting in the street so, blocking traffic so uh, now they're off to now they're off to an assault in progress in the street fighting in the street yeah janice this was a great great uh result so that's the location barbie street and Pickin. Be safe, nurse. Good to see you. Thank you so much. I was right on point. Hold on, I'm scrolling back. I'm scrolling back, guys. I got to see where the nurse is going. Um, I don't see her chat. Oh, uh, just subscribe to Pusa. For all things duty run. I like that, Sonia. I like that. I don't see where she... Hallelujah, the baby is safe. Yes, Tay. Charlie, Tay. Yes, Tay. Hallelujah is right. I'm in the process of applying. Okay, I'm all caught message. up on the chat. I'm, I'm caught up on the chat. Just cancel everybody. I uh, just keep the bus rolling. 10475 Charlie. Hi, Josh. We route to a 34 at 585 Blake, Georgia, Alabama, apartment 2, boy. It is what it is. Let's just leave that part alone, uh, Mr. Gandalf. Let's just forget about that. I don't want to talk about negative stuff. So let's just keep it positive. I, I, I'm, I'm behind what you're saying, but I just don't want to linger on about it. Hey, Katrina, good to see you. How are you? Um, but I didn't cuss. Uh, Debbie, don't worry about it. It's all good. You're still here. Katrina, congratulations. Okay. Fire on. So this dispute in the street is now a fire on. This, 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 this dispute in the street involves a firearm now. Negative, nothing yet. Stand by, I'm waiting for that. Hold on, guys. Hold the chat. Now it's been elevated. This, this unit is coming up right now on the scene. So, 75 boy said, I'm rolling up 84. Congratulations on the 1,000 subscribers, Katrina. If I was a description for the firearm, it's going to be a male black with a white t-shirt fled towards Sutter, okay? Okay, so the male black, white t-shirt fled towards Sutter Avenue. I know these locations. I know this male area. Male black with a white t-shirt fled towards Sutter. Now receiving is a 34 to knife for a person stabbed at that location. No description. Picking at Barbie. Show me canvassing. I got a lot of people out here. 10 4, okay. He said he's canvassing. There's a lot of people out How's there. The How's the response? Transport one back to the base from uh, Stone and Livonia. So, con so congratulations to Katrina for um, for hitting the uh, 1,000 subscriber okay, mark. Uh, it's uh, was two precincts, it's Mr. Gandalf. 73rd precinct, 75th. It's two I'm precincts. Outstanding. No further. There's units on the scene, and they're calling for no further. So that's good. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. My Wi-Fi isn't good, says Sam the Schnoz. Sorry, everybody. Uh, well, we're sorry for you. We feel sorry for you, Sam. Uh, Jennifer, I I'm confused. I don't know what's happening right now. Uh, good night, Michelle. Michelle Vogel, everybody. Say good night to my good friend. Love and respect to Michelle always. Thank you so much for being in here. Um, uh, let's see. Susan I'm Walls boy. is in the Thank building. Good morning. So happy to see you. So happy to see you in my chat. It's okay, a disorderly so crowd. Same. Same. No, no firearm. Disorderly crowd. 
So they're going to disperse this crowd and continue on. Hey, Joey Brooklyn, I want you to know Katrina Catress constantly plugs your channel on her channel. I witnessed it myself this morning. She has her mods putting up your links in her channel every night. Joey, that's the kind of gal Katrina Catress is. So everyone go and subscribe to this young lady right here. Katrina Catress right here supports and plugs my channel. Joey's, Auntie Lane, Oni's. She throws links out all night long for all of us. While we're sleeping, she's talking and she's talking about us. And she's saying, go and support these great people. So everybody, please return the favor and not only subscribe to her channel, but interact with her. She's a wonderful gal. She is all about peace, positivity, respect, honor, and all good stuff. So go check her out. For a second, I thought you meant this chat was a disorderly crowd. This chat is very orderly, and there's nothing disorderly about it. Let me see. Somebody else came in here. Was that Red Lotus? Did I see my girl, Red Lotus? Hey, Red Lotus, love and respect, as always. And I got to do a quick... New York has the most strict gun laws right behind California. New York's gun laws are the most strict uh, right behind California. California has got the tightest gun laws. New York's got the second, and it's they're both squeaky. It's really tough. They, I mean, it's emotionally disturbed person. Uh, Paper Angel ASMR, are you still here? Are you still here? Paper Angel? Paper Angel. Paper. I love it. Everybody's saying hello to everybody. Okay, good. Paper Angel's still here. I got to double check. I, I, I get all... I get warm and fuzzy when I know all my girls are here. Winky Whispers, Black Rose. Well, Black Rose may not be here. She might have uh, stepped stepped out. But it's always good to see all of my people in here. Red Lotus, Winky Whispers, Black Rose, uh, Katrina Catress, the whole crew. I mean, I love you guys. Maxine, great to see you, Maxine. And guys, I got a dozen mass cards and cards of... Uh, sympathy. So, uh, Joe Schmo, thank you so much for sending out the card. I got it today in my P.O. box. Much love and respect to you and your family. Thank you for uh, your your kind uh, words and things of that nature. It is awesome, awesome when I go to my P.O. box and there's a bunch of stuff in there. A dozen uh, condolences cards for the loss of my mom. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you and, and all of you here in this chat. I would say 99.9% .9 of the friends that I have here in this chat has either texted me, sent me direct messages, or sent me emails. So much love and respect to all of you guys. I give you guys a major, major uh, group hug. And I really, if there's anything I could do for you guys going forward, I'm always a phone call or a text message or a DM away. Uh, if you guys need me, I'm there for you. Uh, thank you, Maxine. Oh, you sent me some sweet, sweet words back and forth. I really, I can't even tell you how overwhelmed I am with happiness. You guys really helped me. You guys really helped me get through a hard time. You really sent me, you, you really did some really nice stuff. I've sent the card, but it'll take a few weeks to get there. No worries, Bridget Parker. No worries. No worries. Uh, Ron is always there for all. I'm there for whoever I can help. I'm here for all of you guys in different ways, you know? So much love and respect right back from my house to yours. You guys are always welcome here in the Duty Ron chat. Anytime, guys. So the radio is still pumping. The radio's pumping. Love you right back. Another fight. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Cindy Farwick. Yeah, Joe, they are, they are. I love you right back, Katrina. Love you right back. So this is another physical fight going on on the street. Cheers, guys. I don't know. 
I don't know if this coffee is going to still be warm, but I'm going to drink it. Luke warm, yeah, Luke warm, guys. Good. There's my Patreon, guys. Go check it out. Boom, bam, bang, Patreon. So, what time of night does the radio die down in my in New York and Brooklyn? Never. It never does. A prisoner complaining of asthma. So they're asking for an ambulance at the station house. One of the prisoners is complaining that he has asthma. There's my PO box. Bam. Thank you, Black Rose. There's my PayPal. Bam. Winky Whispers. You guys are awesome. Stand by one. Give me one second. And it's a full moon, guys. It's a full moon. Yes, my website is dutyron.com. All you got to do is put it in the search bar in Google. You don't have to put www. Just put dutyron.com or just dutyron, and it will bring you straight to my website. It's plain. It's simple. It's easy. It's really easy. Thank you, Katrina. Love and respect, always, always. Thank you so much. There's my Facebook link. Bam, bang. Look at me now, mom. No hands. I I am gonna go out on a limb and say that Nikki McIntosh is no longer here. I would bet my pension on it that she's not here. I would bet my entire pension that Nikki McIntosh is no longer here. All right, we have a switch. Now it's no longer a female dispatcher. Now it is a male. Bueller. Bueller. This is this is now a switch. You hear it's a male dispatch. So they change them out. Thank you, Katrina. That's what I want. I love the... My website has everything. This guy sounds like... This guy sounds like a G. This... This dispatcher sounds like a badass. Come to the bright light. Poltergeist. Do not look at the bright light. Wi-Fi check. I, I. NYPD. That's my Secret Service pin, guys. Secret Service pen. And then the front is the big white NYPD. I wore this hat when I was out on the street. So this is an actual authentic worn NYPD cap from the streets of New York City. So, yeah, I got this at one of my United Nations General Assemblies uh, that I attended. So uh, this is a, I, I got this from a Secret Service agent. Thank you. I have it here. I got it on my other arm. I got a bunch of stuff. I got a squirrel going up the inner part, no, 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 inner part no, no, no. of my thigh, going up the inside of my leg, and then coming down the other side no, with two nuts in its hand. So no, that's no, a great no, tattoo. You guys no, got to no, see no. that sometime. You have anything on the EMS? It's okay, Maxine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. This, this dispatcher spell, sounds like a, a G, major G. Back the blue. That's a different type of broadcast. Yes, yes. Thank you, Katrina. Thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks. Streamlabs, shut up, Streamlabs. Straight up gangster, a straight up G. Seven five boy one. Right? Go this on. guy he sounds like he's got. Say she's in front of the building, okay? She thinks her friend called yeah, her I, friend. Is... I have the CV. Thank you. All right, tip okay. He has the complainant. Um, he sounds like a guy that would have a, a like a, a a nice glass of like cognac or some like um something some kind of real heavy alcohol. Uh, just sitting right by him uh, and a so cigar. Like a cognac, yeah. Cognac, uh, I would say like a bourbon or something, you know, some kind of scotch or whiskey. And he'd just be like, you know, with the cigar and like, yeah. Excellent, two guns. Well, I would like to see you hit the go live button and we could all come into your broadcast and you can, you can host us for a little while, you know. You could host us for a little bit. Prohibition. There you go, Adrian. 
I could go for a cocktail, says Katrina. Katrina, fix us, um, fix us a double, uh, fix us a double, um, I'll take a Grey Goose, a cranberry with a splash of seltzer, and a little bit of a lime. If you can cut up some limes, just squeeze a little lime in there. Grey Goose, Grey Goose, cranberry splash of seltzer. I, I'll go for one of those. That, that, that won't be, that, that'll be pretty good. Uh, Matty, Matty Boy wants a Gentleman Jack. There you go. Jack in a glass. They're just trained, Tracker 3. They're trained to be nice and calm. Grey Goose Cranberry is her favorite. Awesome. Awesome. Let me hear everyone's drink of choice. Let's hear what the ladies have to say. Let's hear what the guys have to say. Uh, a Mai Tai. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, can you do a community post? Can you do a community post now? Cranberry 7-Up and Vodka. Nice. What's going on? Really? Cosmopolitan and a Bloody Mary. Nice. Uh, BA Dispatcher. A Sambuca and Water. That's a straight-up G right there. Mr. Gandalf, straight-up G. Margarita says Lynn G. Little Whiskey says Adrian. I like it. A Bud Light all night? Come on, two guns. What is that? That's not two guns. That's one gun. That's a one gunner right there. It's a one gunner. Yeah, I mean, that's just a, that's like an old wives tale in my eyes. All of my tattoos have meaning. All of my tattoos have meaning. You know, this one here says rise above. It's like one of the sayings that I say. It says rise above. Uh, the other one is 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 a is like a um, a tribute to my grandmother, may she rest in peace. And the other one that I have over here is my picture uh, names of my kids and my wife, and uh, the American flag. So all of my tattoos are are meaning. They have meaning, and it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone that gets tattoos have all of, all of them have meaning. Some of them is just like artwork, but my stuff, everything's got meaning. And this this is one of my sayings: rise above. You know, the memorial to my grandmother, may she rest in peace. And um, also the um, American flag and my kid's name and my wife. Um, let's see. Somebody said no whiskey. Uh, no whiskey for the natives, please. It's okay, Cherokee grandma. Listen, we got to, you know, everybody, there's a lot of different people here. We respect that there's no whiskey for uh, for you. But uh, we, I, I, I would like someone to fix me a nice... A nice, um, a nice hot toddy for, and tuck me into bed. I'd like a nice hot toddy and be tucked into bed, please. Let's turn the lights out. Let's turn the lights out, people. A hot toddy and we're going to bed. Good night. Good night, Irene. Wow, that got scary all of a sudden up and in here. Whew. All right, let's, let, let's, let's get the party started. Here we go. Here's the Lawrence Welk Bubble Show. All right, this is a little intermittent intermission. Hey, who's blowing bubbles in here? Come on now, who's doing that? Some of them go away and some of them don't. Jesus, get out of there. All right, enough of that. Okay, okay, there you go. There you go. There you go, Grandma. Cherokee Grandma. Uh, Janice, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta break it up a little bit. All right, the radio seems to be calming down a little bit. I'm covered, that sleeves, stomach, back, and chest. Wow, why don't we do a live, let's go. I will um, I will show, I will shut my broadcast down if you wanna fire up one, and we'll, we can all come in and look at your artwork. How about that? All in favor of that, say aye. 
all in favor of me shutting down this broadcast, and we go over to Two Gun Joshua, and we go check out his ink. Let me see what his channel looks like. Hold on. Let me check it out. Two Gun. Let's take a peek. Oh, I can't peek at him from here. I got to go over here. Hold on a second. Let me go to my secondary device. Let me go check him out. For visitors only, I'm a margarita. <laughs> Let me see two guns. Let me check them out. There we go. There's two guns, guys. Two guns, Joshua. Lots of wineries in your town. Okay, cool. Where are you, in the Napa Valley? Uh, just shake me down. Stir me. Don't stir me. Shake me down. Shake me down. Hey, Charlie. You'll get it. You'll get it. It, it might take a little time, you know? It might take a little time for them to, to validate or... Up, they might need to update your account to give you that access. Holy cow, Joey, Joey, look who it is. It's Marie, my girl. Hello, sunshine. This is my first day one good friend from Periscope, Marie ES915. She's from the great state of Texas. She's a wonderful friend. Everybody subscribe to her channel. Everybody show her love. Marie ES915, my unbelievable great, great friend. Going on three years now. She was with me on my very first broadcast that I've ever done live streaming. She, right here, there she is. Love you right back, sunshine. Marie was on my very first ever live stream three years ago. So she is my day one, and she's been my friend ever since the beginning. So I have a lot of love and respect for her and her mom and her whole family. A bunch of great, great people. Really, really wonderful people. And I've had the honor of speaking to her mom on the phone and her. So they're really, really great, 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 great people. So I highly recommend everybody subscribe to her. Friends like her are the ones you want. They're the people you want to surround yourself with. You know, you judge by the company you keep. And that's good company right there. It's okay, Two Guns. We all started uh, nowhere. We all started with nothing. Uh, it all We all started out with big zero, so it's all good. Yeah, Marie is the real deal, Holyfield. She is the real deal. The radio has quieted down a little bit. I'm ride or die too, Duty Ron. Awesome. It's so good to see you, Marie, because me and Joey were just talking about you and Trevor tonight. Uh, we were talking about uh, Melissa, a couple of people from Periscope, three or four people we were speaking about just tonight on the phone. So I'm so happy you're here, and it's, I'm so glad to see you. How did you get notification that I was live? Just out of, just, just out of curiosity. All right, so what do we got? 53 watching. Uh, Donnell, thank you so much, Corbett. I appreciate that. Yeah. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's not an overdose. But usually those calls are good calls. Most people don't call and say they're overdosing if they're not. 57 watching, 54, 53.
Let's see what's happening here with that overdose. It got quieter. It definitely got quieter. All right, 75 David 2, that now showing the ETF 142, okay? We got a full house here tonight, Marie. Thank you, Katrina. Let's let's take a peek at what Joey uh, Joey Brooklyn's at right now. Uh, let's see if Joey's getting close. Seven three DHSK, be advised, you're coming over two by two with a lot of static. I can't yeah, even okay, hear. You got a final in regards to that thirty. Joey's got nine hundred and twenty-three subscribers. Hold on, I think he's got more than that. 931 for Joey. Five Adam. Two of our last is on the side. 931 for Joe. We're doing good. We're doing good with Joey. Five Adam, you said 98. He's gonna be there very soon. He's gonna be there very soon. And 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 if we could get if we could get another 10 or 15 people from, from this live stream to subscribe to Joey. He, he's going to be so close, so close. I wish I had Streamlabs running. I could run, I could run his video. And let me see Katrina. Let me see my honey Katrina. My honey bunny. Katrina, it says 970, but these numbers vary. They go up and down. All right. Katrina's close, too. Make sure I show 970 for her. She's adorable. Look at the smile on her face. Look at how adorable she is. Hold on. Let me let me get this. Look at, look at her. Look at her. Hold on. Hold on. I got to take it down. Hold on, guys. Look at her. How adorable is she? <laughs> Gotta love her. Gotta love that Katrina. She is adorable. Always smiling. She's really, really beautiful girl. And but what's what's wonderful about her is that she's always happy. You know, she's always happy, and she's always happy to help like others, you know, she, she does, she does so much for so many people and she puts 110% effort into it. And that's what I notice about her channel is that she puts 110% into everything. Hi, Amy. How are you? You are a lovely person too, Amy Darcy. Marie, thank you so much for being here on my live stream. I appreciate you being in here, Amy. Yeah, Katrina is really good people, really. You know, it's it's hard to find real genuinely good people in everyday life, you know, one-on-one -on -one in person. But when you come onto the internet, when you come onto the internet, it makes it even more difficult because there's transparency because you don't know who you're speaking with, right? So in person, you could get a feel for who is good and who's not, or who's being honest and who's kind of just empty gesturing you. But here on YouTube and on the internet, there's more of secrecy and not, not knowing. But with someone who live streams like Katrina does and like I do, you get to know that person. And you, you could pretty much get an idea of who's genuine and who's just blowing smoke up your uh, rear. So what I'm saying is, is Katrina is one of the ones who, for me, you know that it's, um, you know that it's sincere. It's, she's compassionate. She puts a lot of effort and love into what she does. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. 
So um, that's the kind of, and you know what? I also watched Life of MC's channel and I get that same vibe from Life of MC. So she's all the way in the Philippines, Life of MC. She emulates goodness in her channel. And so does Winky Whispers. And so does a lot of the ladies in here. You know, Black Rose, I have a lot of time speaking with her on the DMs and talking to her about everyday life. You know, Black Rose is um, an empty nester. She's, you know, in her 60s. She's not, um, you know, a 20-year-old young, you know, spring chicken, but she's like me. She's smart and older and wiser. So Black Rose is a really great person to get to know because she can offer a lot of experience and a lot of love. She's got a lot of love to give to everybody. Um, Paper Angel ASMR, she's a caregiver for her husband who's a paraplegic. She's another great person to hang out with and get to know. Um, Sonia Paper Angel ASMR is a wonderful, wonderful woman who is um, a, a caregiver, like I said, to her husband, who's a paraplegic. That's not an easy thing by any means to go through and deal with. She does it with respect and dignity and compassion. She is um, a wonderful, wonderful person. So I highly recommend you check out Paper Angel ASMR. I mean, these are, these are people who I've observed myself. You know, Red Lotus is another woman of compassion. She's a mom, she's a wife, she's a, a nurse. She's in that field of taking care of people. So we all have that nursing in us, whether we do the job or not, we do it on and off the field, so to speak. So, you know, these are just some of the great people that I got to know through my live streaming and through YouTube. And I talked to Joey about this on a phone call tonight. You know, there's so many people that come around but there's a core group that you know that you can count on or rely on if you have something like if something goes down. There's people you know you could talk to, you know. There's there's people that you know you can legitimately rely on and talk to. Two Guns Joshua is 37, but he's down in Virginia, right? I think he said Lynchburg, Virginia. Um, I might do crazy videos, but I have a big heart too. Mel Mel. I don't doubt that, but I'm just going based on the people who I've spoken to and I have a relationship with, you know, on and off of YouTube. And these are people who I've got to get to know by email and direct messages, Mel Mel. But I don't doubt you are awesome. You're an awesome gal. And I've heard nothing but good, funny stories about you. And I've checked out some of your channel stuff. And I like you a lot. I think you're really cool. And I think you get around and support a lot of people. I've seen you on other people's channels. And that's what this whole thing is about. This thing is this thing on YouTube and live streaming is not just about me, 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 me. If you notice me, I go around and support a lot of other people. And a lot of people who uh, I go around to do the same thing. You know, I don't even care um, if your channel is big, small, or indifferent. Hi, Meek. How are you, Van Beek? That rhymes. Meek Van Beek. Meek Van Beek. Meek Van Beek. Good to see you, Van Beek. Thank you so much for being in here. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, we go and we support Joey. We go and we, um, we're all a little nuts. We're all a little nuts. Um, Katrina calls and checks on Amy Darcy every day. That's what love is about. That's what friendship is about. That's what respect is about. And that's all the things that she emulates. And I see it day in and day out. You know, day in and day out. So it's awesome. Guys, get to know each other. Subscribe to my good friend, Joey Brooklyn. Subscribe to Katrina, Katrina Catress. Subscribe to Paper Angel ASMR. Subscribe to Life of MC. She's trying the best she can to give great content for you ladies uh, with jewelry and all different kinds of beauty that she, stuff that uh, Life of MC is doing. She's in the Philippines. Let's help. Antimone Lane, Auntie Lane, she goes live on a regular basis. She's probably live right now. She talks about her cases and her real-life journals. She's got her own things that she struggles with, and as we all do, have our own little struggles. But support the people who support you. And even if people aren't supporting you, always extend that olive branch. Always try to do the right thing. This is why 
This is the way I was raised. This is the way that I live my life. And Joey from Brooklyn, Joey Brooklyn knows what I'm all about from the previous app that we came from, Periscope. I was on there for a two two year period, and I I I'm very successful on Periscope, as is Joey. Joey's you know a four or five time featured broadcaster or eight time featured broadcaster, you know gold VIP and all of that goodness. But it doesn't matter what your status is there. It's about how you conduct yourself. You could be, you could have a million subscribers, but if you don't care about the people who are in your chat or who are sending you messages, then that doesn't make you the greatest person in my book. That makes you selfish. So I take the time to answer all of my messages. And if it takes me two weeks, I answer them, right? Because I care about you guys. I care about when you send me a message and it's a big, long message and I want to read it all and I do and I get back to each and every one of you. That is not easy to do, you know? Uh, and a lot of a lot of channels don't do that, you know. You you could send comments until you're blue in the face, and you the most you're going to get is a thumbs up or a, or a heart. That's not how I run my stuff, and I'm not putting anybody down that does that because some people just don't have the time. You know, it takes a lot of time to do that because I'm retired. I'm able to do it, but you know, if I was running a full time, uh, if I had a full time job, or if I was running a household with young kids. I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to do that. So some of these creators, some of these content creators just don't have the time. So you got to give them a little slack. Uh, sorry I haven't put in any XI. I don't know, I don't know what that means. But, um, but you know what I'm saying? I put my heart and soul into it. I give you guys my attention. Uh, if you send me a message and it's something important and I read it, and I can get right back to you, I will. If not, I get back to you ASAP, you know? But, you know, I have a life too that's going on and I have a lot of things that, are, that, I'm, that I'm doing, you know, business-wise and uh, family-wise. So um, let's get Joey to 1,000 subscribers. What I'm just saying, guys, is, is um, this is a little bit different. Uh, I, really, I really love and respect you guys all and I don't just give you guys empty gestures, you know? I don't give empty gestures, you know? I had a pretty big bicep going on there right now. I did, I did throw some weights around tonight before I came in to work. But wow, duty runs flexing at this time. Holy crap! Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of self-loathing <laughs> right there. There's a little, I had a little pop going on in my bicep there. Uh, you know, maybe maybe it's uh maybe it's my pistola that's making me feel a little strong right now. I got 16 rounds and a couple of extra magazines. I always carry extra magazines. Some of my friends think I'm a little nutty, but I'm ready for the apocalypse. I got I got two of these extra magazines on me. So uh, yeah, duty Ron was just flexing. I'm always loaded for bear. I'm always ready to go. So. Uh, Glock 19. It's a Glock 19. Five, you're coming up very low. I do too, Jonna. Uh, David too. So yeah, it's a Glock. It just happened. It just happened. You know, uh, Katrina. It wasn't a planned event. I was like here, and I was just like, oh wow. I just, I was just. I kept flexing. It was just... Black Rose loves a Glock 19. <laughs> oh, Black Rose. All right, guys. So I want to just say, anybody that has given Super Chat in this broadcast, as my way of saying thanks, I will be sending... Uh, send me an email with your address. I, I will send a thank you card, a thank you note, uh, as my way of saying thanks. So if anybody has given, I think there's one Super Chat... In this broadcast, if you uh, if you sent a super chat, send me an email and I will send you out uh, a thank you card as my way of saying thanks. Um, I also do um, like if you guys go onto my website and there's a contact page on the website. Uh, it, there's a contact uh, page on my website, so if you want to interact with me and you don't want to send me an email, 
just fill out the contact page on my um, on my website, and then I get the notification of that, and then I could send uh, a message back to you any way that you, whatever you specify in that contact page. So dutyron, uh, dot com, go and check out my website, uh, and leave me um, leave me some uh, leave me a message on the contact part of the page. Black Rose, th thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, I appreciate that, Black Rose. Completely unnecessary. But you're welcome. Anytime that you need to talk or you want to reach out to me, Black Rose, you know you got a friend in me, and um, you can always contact me. I'm always there for you. Thank you, Katrina. Love and respect. I hope to do a joint broadcast soon. Let's get that all together. Let's, let's, let's work it out. Let's work the kinks out. Uh, thank you, Red Lotus, for the super chat. Hey, Ron. Keep giving us the first news. Flex, respect, flexing, respect, always. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, live radio calls here tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed all the live radio calls here tonight. I mean, here's another fight in the street. Let's stay for this. There's a fight on the street with no weapons and no injuries. So. Donnell, thank you so much for that super chat. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate the super chat. Much love and respect. Addie's mom, everybody fighting. Yeah, there's been a lot of fights. Been a lot of fights. Uh, I wish he wasn't getting donations. Who wishes... What, what, what? You wish he wasn't getting donations? What do you... Um... <laughs> what the hell? Uh, thank you so much for that super chat. Amy Darcy, I'm not on your lives enough, but I know you're a wonderful person. A lot of hearts. I smile whenever I see you come into a live. I always tell my mom I know a New York City detective. Amy, that is such a sweet message. I'm going to take a screenshot of that and I'm going to actually use it in one of my other broadcasts, if you don't mind. I'm going to take a screenshot of that, Amy, because that is a super sweet thing. Uh, very, very sweet comment, and you are a really, really wonderful person. Uh, Life of MC, all the way from the Philippines, thank you for the super love. I like to call it super love. Thank you so much for the super love on the broadcast here tonight. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Let me go back to review just one thing that I want to make sure I read that right. Hold on a second. Hold on. Thank you, Katrina. Thank you, Black Rose. I'm scrolling back, so I'm not seeing the current chat. I have to review something because uh, maybe I read that wrong. How come I don't see it? Did that guy say what I think he said? Now I don't see it. Let me go back. Veggie vibes. Weather is getting warm. Uh, so up goes the activity. Correct. Joey's got 932. Awesome. I got to look back because I got to see this for myself. Hold on, guys. Be patient with me. I'm scrolling like an old man right now. Amy, I loved it. Loved it. To no, no, thank you, Duty Ron. You're welcome. You're welcome, Cherokee Grandma. Thank you. I wish he wasn't getting donations. Okay. All right. So then I did read that right. Um, there you go. That earned you uh, a ticket to the exit. Exit stage left. All right. So let's continue on. Uh, I don't even want to know clarification of that. I read it twice and that I just needed that's Let's just forget about it. Um, Addie's mom is laughing. I love when I can get Addie's mom to laugh. But I don't play around. I don't mess around. That is that's a ticket to that's a ticket to paradise. But not not the paradise that we all think. That is a ticket out the door. So uh, he just got the boot. He got he got the boot. Um, no, 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 no. Listen, guys, so I, I got so sidetracked I don't even know what happened with this dispute. Two tickets to paradise, and he doesn't have two. He's only got one. Um, 
anyways, Joey Brooklyn is just loving this, man. Joey Brooklyn cannot get enough of this. I don't play around. Um, he spent a lot of time here. He spent a lot of time with us. But whatever. It's all good. Um, so, guys, in my description is my Amazon affiliate link. Ladies, I just want to say this, okay? There's no pressure here, right? You don't even have to give Super Chat. Like, everyone here that's giving Super Chat, I greatly appreciate that. But I want to say this. There's a way for you to support my channel, and Black Rose did it today. Go on to my Amazon affiliate link. I have an influencer link that's in my description below in the chat. Uh, in the description below in my live stream, I put my Amazon um, my Amazon influencer link. Okay? If you guys go onto Amazon and shop like you normally would shop, and it, Amazon doesn't charge you anything extra for this. You still get the same low prices. Go and shop on Amazon through my affiliate link, through my influencer link. There it is. Thank you, Black Rose. I knew she was going to put it. Go click on that link, and when you shop on Amazon, a small percentage of your shopping, which doesn't cost you anything, comes back to support my channel. And that helps to support me for the time that I put in here, for the equipment that I buy, for the, the time that it takes me to do broadcasts. You know, because when I go live, I do a lot of research on some of the things that I go live about. Some of it comes natural to me because of my police work, but um, some of the stuff I spend hours researching so I bring you valid information. So it takes a lot of time to do this stuff. Uh, honestly, I gave Super Chat because of that message. Wait a minute. Honestly, I gave... Um, uh, so my, my Amazon link is uh, just put up in the chat. A Black Rose put it up in the chat. If you scroll down, you can see it again. Um, but go to my Amazon affiliate. It's an easy way for you to support my channel. And, and, and support me without actually dipping into your pocket. So if you spend $100 or $50 on buying a dress or buying whatever you buy on Amazon, a small amount would go to, uh, to, to my channel. Life of MC, you're more than generous and your donations are never necessary, but they're always appreciated. So thank you so much for that, Life of MC. Do not say, I wish I could do more because you've done more than... Uh, you, more than you you should. So, um, excellent. And when you come out with that new review review video, I'm going to be there to watch it. So I'm looking forward to that upload. I'm definitely looking forward to that upload, Life of MC. I'm looking forward to it. How are we doing with Joey uh, Brooklyn? How are we doing with Joey Brooklyn? I used your link the other night, Ron. I ordered a small tripod. Awesome. Thank you for that. And you could bookmark that link, and then anytime you go and shop, make sure you use that link. And, you know, it's, it's, it's an easy way to contribute to. And if you don't want to do that for me, if one of your other favorite live uh, streamers, one of your other favorite content creators has an Amazon affiliate link, use it and support him, his or her channel uh, by using that link. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything. How much is a movie to see in New York? You know what, uh, Two Gun Joshua? It's a lot. It's a lot. I haven't, I, I don't pay attention to what it costs, but I know it isn't cheap. I'll tell you that right now, it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. It's probably like 14 or 20, but I don't even know. I have no idea, dude. I really don't know. All right, so $10 here, Joey. That hat was annoying me. Okay, it's got a big crowd, a large crowd to be dispersed. Okay, 70 thumbs up. Let's try to get that number to 100. Is there any way we could get that 70 thumbs up to 100? There you go, Black Rose. Thank you. He's got a large crowd. $8 in Oregon. That's pretty cheap. It's a lot more than that here in New York. I would have contributed more, but at this time of the year is the worst. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. John, John, you've done enough. You've done enough. Don't worry about it. Uh, I gave the thumbs up on my way in. Thank you, Winky. Could you sign into your other account and give me another thumbs up on the other account? I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I signed in and signed out. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Bridget. Um, <laughs> Joey's laughing. Whatever. Okay, let me go sign in on my other account, Duty Run. Oh, yes, she does have a second account. She's going to come in on her second account. 72 thumbs up, 50 in the chat. We've maintained about 50 or more throughout this whole broadcast. So I want to say before, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, thank you, Amy. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. I want to just say before I do go anywhere, I respect your time. I appreciate your time. I know that there's so many choices of live streamers and broadcasters and uploads for you to get out, go and see. So that's why I want to say thank you. I respect your time because time is valuable. And I know that you guys have a lot of options. So hanging around here with me uh, with 50 or so people on a regular basis, there she is, creatively edgy. Everyone subscribe. That's Katrina. That's her business that's channel. That's her business channel. I already subscribed to it. So thank you for that, and thank you for that thumbs up. 75 thumbs up so far on the video. Thank you so much. I know, right, Joe? That would be awesome, Joe Schmo. I can't even manage this account. How the hell am I going to manage a second one? Winky Whispers did it a second time. Oops, I did it again. Um, I late you do this run. I la what do you? I late you do this. I know that's a typo, so let's give him a chance to rectify that. I hit the like. There you go. Thank you, Two Guns Joshua. Thank you, thank you. Duty Ron, can you make this account a moderator? Um, yes. Yeah, I can. I certainly can. Veggie Vibes is laughing so hard. He's laughing so hard. I got you, girly. Check it out now. I think you should be good to go. I think you should be good to go, Katrine, on the secondary account. Excellent. Excellent, Bridget. That is awesome. That is awesome sauce. So, there you go. Yay. Yay. Creatively edgy new friend. Welcome to the security detail. Uh, that's Katrina, Joey. That's creatively edgy is uh, Katrina's second account. That's her business account. Um, did you spend time outside today? Yes, I did. I went and had lunch with my brother. And we were settling up some of my mom's estate. And I had lunch with my brother. I got my car washed. And I did my walk out at the duck pond. But I didn't do any broadcasting. No broadcasting at either of those locations. And I took a, I took a, I took a break from it. Uh, Joshua says, how late? Creatively Edgy is coming through again with the super chat. Love me some duty, Ron, says Creatively Edgy. Thank you. Love right back. Love and respect. Love and respect. Here's a quick check. Here is a quick check. Um, is Paper Angel ASMR still here? Sonia. Um, Katrina's saying, do I get a hat soon? Yes. I'm going to get a hat for you very soon, Paper Angel. Uh, um, Katrina, I promise. Paper Angel's here. Yay. Everybody subscribe to the Creatively Edgy Guys, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of starting a second account, and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to start a second account. I want to keep this account for all crime-related stuff, all police-related stuff, and I want to create my second account so I can bring to you live streams from the park, live streams from the bird store, live streams from the car wash. I have to think of a name of a second channel for me I don't know what to make it, but it's going to be Duty Ron something. And I got to figure out a good, catchy uh, second account so I can give you specific content. Because here on YouTube, I can't have a channel that's talking about crime and crime cases one day. And then the next day, I'm talking about a bird store or a, a coffee chat or a, um, a, a walk at the duck park. Uh, it messes up everything with YouTube. They don't know what you're doing when you do that. I discovered that it it changes the 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 it changes everything with your channel when you do that. You throw everything off. So if you can, Bridget and all the ladies and gents out there, I I broadcast until whenever I'm ready to stop. So I I'm here until seven o'clock in the morning. So I don't. 
I don't broadcast the whole time. I'm about to close it up around two, two o'clock. I'll wrap it up New York time. Uh, but, but what I'm saying is, ladies and gents, if you can come up with some ideas for a second duty Ron channel, it's going to involve nature, uh, bird, the bird, Popeye, uh, and car wash stuff and all of my things that I do. Like when I go to the beach with my wife in the summer, we go to the beach a lot. Uh, we have a cabana that we go to, uh, uh, travel stuff. So it's going to involve travel. Uh, Duty Ron does nature. I like that, Sam, uh, uh, Joe Schmo. Uh, but send me, send me emails, guys. Send me emails about it. Uh, uh, I'd, like, I'd like to hear some of your ideas. Call of Duty. But then, but I, that's, I need it to be, I need it to be non-crime related, guys. Uh, Life of Duty, Ron. I like that, Maxine. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, so it's a life. Life vlogs. Duty Ron's life vlogs. But I'm not going to be doing vlogs. It's going to be live streams. I don't like vlogs. It's going to be all live streams, guys. So, if, if you guys can, off duty Ron. There you go, Dad. How are you, Dad? Um, you guys are coming up with some really great life. Duty Ron's serene life. I like it. Duty Ron's world. Hey, Dad Random, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Appreciate you coming on. Um, duty Ron on the daily. See, these are all good things, but I need it put in like in an email to me and I want to categorize it. I want to go through it all. And if I choose what you select for me, I got a special, special something for you guys. So if somebody comes up with a catchy duty run, uh, channel name and I utilize it, I got a special, special something. I'm not going to mention what it is, but it's going to be something epic for whoever comes up with a catchy Duty Ron's secondary channel name. So, and you'll always be attached to it. You'll always get credit for it all the time when I'm live with that channel. No matter how successful or not successful it is, you guys are going to get, whoever comes up with it is going to get constant shout outs from me. So put it in an email at dutyron uh, at AOL.com or send it up on my website. So uh, I like the Don Ron, says Jonna. Wow. Awesome. Awesome stuff. All right. 78 thumbs up. I see 78 thumbs up. Uh, 42 on the um, 42 on the super chat. That's awesome. 45 in the chat. So the real deal with Judy Ron and Judy Ron on the daily. Life and times with Judy Ron. But Joey, if you put what if you put your idea here, someone could steal it. So don't put any more Duty Ron's Wacky World. That's a good one. Don't put any more in the chat because somebody's going to steal it. Duty Ron and Donuts. But then that's that's copy-related. I don't want it to be copy-related, uh, Donnell. I don't want it to be copy-related. 78 thumbs up. Let's get it up to let's get it up to 100. I'd like to see it at 100 and then go. Amy is laughing her ass off right now. She's like, LOL. Uh, I have no more thumbs. There you go. I got you. I got you. User-friendly, says Joe Schmo. No more phrases because someone could steal them. Don Ron Julio. <laughs> I like that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I liked On the Way In. Thank you, Angie. You're sweet. Username. Veggie Vibes is always coming up with weird stuff. Long Island Duty Ron. Uh, no. Duty Ron and Donuts. <laughs> Daily Dose of Duty Ron. Ooh, Addy's mom. Whoa, I like that one. Daily Dose of Duty Ron. But then that locks me into Daily Dose. I can't do it daily. I can't do it daily. Thebes at a There you go. Red Lotus is no... She's not a dummy. She knows the deal. Red Lotus knows the deal. Uh, Bob, confuse everyone. Just use Bob, right? What about Bob? How about I do What About Bob? Katrina is back. Guess who's back? Back again. Katrina's back. On the 
on the beat with Duty Ron. Wow. I think Addy's mom got it. I think Addy's mom got is on to something. Papa Ron. The wonderful world of Duty Ron. So I guess everybody is, is, is risking getting their idea stolen and getting credit. Somebody could swipe up your idea. Send me emails, guys. I hope my email is flooded tomorrow or in the next couple of days with ideas. All right, guys, 2 o'clock is approaching. Um, anybody have any questions or uh, what about Bob? What about Ron? What about Bob? Dr. Leo Marvin. Dr. Leo Marvin. Doc, anybody know that one? What about Bob? Dr. Marvin. Is anybody up in Lake Winnipesaukee? <laughs> All right. Um, shut up, says Veggie Vibes. Veggie Vibes, that's not nice. I don't need any credit. I don't need stinking badges. Stella! All right. Um, now I can't even freaking clip this thing back on my shirt. I got to open up a, shirt, a button. Okay, there you go. Dad Random is giving the thumbs up and laughing. All right, I got it. I got it hooked up. I got it all hooked up. Thank you, Black Rose. Oh, here's about the baby. Bueller? Bueller? Uh, Red Lotus is pulling a Kelly on me. She's saying, don't go, Ron. Joey, did you catch on to that? Life after work with duty, Ron. I like that. Don't go, Ron. Don't go. She's pulling a Kelly on me. This is what Kelly does. Speaking of Kelly, where the hell is Kelly? Adrian. Let's call Kelly. Could we call Kelly on Snapchat? We're going to do it right now. Let's call Kelly and get her on. Here we go. I hope she answers. Calling Kelly. Name the channel Bueller. I hope she answers. She, she's got fibro, though. I, I'm worried that I'm waking her up. I'm worried that I could be waking her up. Maybe I should hang up. This is this worries me because she loves us so much that she's not answering. It, it worries me when Kelly doesn't answer, you know? I hope she's okay. Yeah, and Andrea, that's a good idea. Let's call Andrea. Hold on. I want to call the right Andrea. I've got a couple of them here. Uh, is this her? I don't even know if that's her. I don't think it is. Oh, this might not be her. Oh, oh, oh. How do I shut it off? It's not her. <laughs> I was calling the wrong Andrea. Behind the scenes with Duty Ron, prayers... For Kelly, yes, I know. I'm worried about her. I'm worried about Kelly. I'm worried. I just called the wrong Andrea. Oh, shit. And here she is. Like, why are you calling me? She's answering. <laughs> I'm going to see what she says. I picked up and nothing. This might be her. I just thought it wasn't. Okay, I'm calling her back. It was her. It was her. It was Andrea. Hi, Andrea? Yes. Are you sleeping? No, I'm not sleeping. James has Catherine at the second ER. Say hello to everybody on YouTube. There's 50 people listening to you. Hello. Guys, this is Andrea. The I Mac. to connect earlier. This is the Mac attack. She's got a bad... 
she's got a bad connection where she is. So, um, but it, this is Andrea. We know, everybody here knows Andrea from Oni's channel and from my channel. But she hasn't been on a lot lately because she's got crummy internet service, right, Andrea? Yeah, very bad. All right, Joey Brooklyn saying hello. Winky Whispers is saying hello. Cherokee Grandma is saying hello. Red Lotus. Maxine is saying hi. Ginger Locks hi. Mom. Uh, every, hi, everyone. Everybody's saying hello to you. You are live on YouTube. Hey, Josh. Hi, everyone. Uh, Ron, look at Dad Random's suggestion. Um, okay, Jonna. Uh, thanks. I'll go back and look as, uh -oh. I'm, t as I'm talking to... Uh, off duty Ron at Black Rose. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm trying to get a suggestion for a second channel name because oh, I, I want to start that a second. So, but I want everyone to send it to me by email, but everybody's sending it in the chat. But I send like that one. Send it. Off duty Ron. That's pretty good. Off duty Ron. But you're never technically off duty. Come on, let's be real. You're right about that. You're right about that. Do something like Jerry Seinfeld does, uh, coffee and comedy. No, this is going to be ginger locks. It's going to be my 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 nature walks, my bird store stuff, my car wash stuff. So it's going to be a whole host of... I, I, I can't continue to do that on my main channel because it confuses YouTube and they don't understand it. When I do... When I throw in broadcasts like that, they're like, what is this? I What... This is not what your channel is about. It says you're talking about crime and 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 criminal stuff, and now you now you're giving me a bird store thing. But can't you do an array of everything though? No, no, it's not. You can do that on Periscope, but you can't do it on YouTube. That's bird bizarre. bird time with Ron. I'm telling you, I had a professional tell me that you can't do this. And that's just bizarre because you would think like, okay, when I finally go live. It's not just going to be about, say, you know, my illnesses or, I mean, that would be. I'm listening. Where did you go? I, I, I'm here. So, yeah, I know, but the, the, you're going to be going live in 2021. So, you know, we, we got a lot of time to work that out. Yeah. So. You said 2021. Yeah, I did. I said 2021. <laughs> Thanks a lot. By the time you go live, it's going to be 2021, and I'm going to be uh, 60 years old. No, it won't be that long. I just got to get out of here. I hear you, Andrea. Well, listen, we all miss you. It sounds like you got, what do you, what do you got, a sports gambling uh, operation going on over there? What What's happening? No, the kids have a uh, late start tomorrow because they have finals. And so Zach has a couple of friends over. James is at the ER downtown at Children's Hospital with Catherine. Okay. All right. She got hurt. She went to one ER. She was in more pain. And so they requested or told him to take her down to Children's downtown. Gotcha. So you can't get on YouTube at all with your internet connection there? It just keeps, um, you know, thinking. I can try again. It's okay. Uh, listen, I, I I was just concerned because I haven't well, heard from you. When you went live, um, well, I actually, uh, Red Lotus knows, I, earlier in the week I was back in the hospital again. Huh? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, but you had so much going on that I didn't want right. to Yeah, I did have a lot going on. You. Yeah. Appreciate that, but I'm... I actually I, was... Are you okay? Thrown back. Yeah, just... Um, my white cell counts were all messed up again, and then my blood pressure was up. Yikes. So, so yeah. they got it all under control and then kicked your uh, butt out of the hospital and sent you home? No, I left because James got to meet his birth family on Sunday. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Happy birthday. <laughs> so it was James' birthday on Sunday? No, he got to meet his birth parents. Oh, his birth. Oh, oh my. Yeah. For wow. The time. Holy yeah. cow. All right. And his... Well, we'll we'll and... we'll we'll talk about this privately. I I don't think we need yeah. to publicly talk about this on my live. Exactly. Um. Exactly. So Ron ten seven B. Um. But I'm gonna try to keep it. I'm gonna try to keep it non police related. Hey, the sec look. secondary channel. Are you live? Watch. You're in. 
What? Yeah, it seems like if it's later on, when not as wow. many people are on. Right. I like that two gun, Joshua. All right, so she's in the chat now. All right, I'm disconnecting. I effectively got you. Make sure you give a thumbs up right away. Of course, I always do. I love you, Andrea. I love, I love you. you too, bud. I'm glad that you're okay, and thank you for all the messages that you did send back and forth to me. Oh, of course. Okay. Love you. Give the wifey hugs. I, I will. Hugs. And hugs to everybody there. I'll talk to you soon. All righty. Bye. All right. All right, so my, my mission was accomplished. I got her in the chat. So she's here with us. Uh, Red Lotus, I saw your message. I, I know that you work a lot of hours, so when you're not here, I know you're working. So I'm worried about her health-wise, uh, Andrea. That's why I call her. Um, shower's over. I don't know what that means. Uh, Heo, this is where you go wrong. It's like a whole bowl of weirdness. Shower is over. I, I, I'm not getting it. I don't get it. Do you want to, do you care to maybe clarify that statement of shower is over? Does anybody in the chat know what Veggie Vibes just said with shower is over? Uh, anybody? Oh, show is over. Okay. Then I get that. Show is over. All right. So, he always asking me to wrap it up. He's asking me to wrap it up. All right, guys. Show is over. Okay. Show is over. According to uh, Veggie Vibes, the show is over. It's 2.05. It is closing time here in New York City. <laughs> I got it. I just misread it. My bad. All right. Show is over, says Rupal. Rupal, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, Bridget Parker's laughing at me. Uh, once again, everybody, you can laugh at me. Um, does anyone ever know? Nobody ever knows. Red Lotus is pulling a Kelly on me. Uh, Ginger Locks, Ginger Ma, Ginger Commentator. Uh, I think he meant to say show. Yes. I read it as shower. Much love to you. Katrina, are you going to go live tonight? Is it going to be at four o'clock or are you going to be, are you set to go live once I'm done here? Let us know because we want to come in and show you some love. Hi, San. How are you? Uh, Katrina, what's your deal? Am I putting this mic back on my shirt? I guess so. It's coffee time in the UK, says Maxine. Coffee time, coffee time. You know go? Duty Ryan. Thumbs up, 82. I'm waiting to get 100 thumbs up before I leave on the video. Okay, Paper Angel, everyone subscribe to Sonia. She just put out a new uh, ASMR video of her in the car. Go check out her ASMR video in the car. Pretty cool. I watched the beginning part of it. I didn't watch it all, but I plan to watch it later on. So Paper Angel, ASMR, everybody hit the subscribe button for Paper Angel. Support her channel. She's at like 1,300. My daughter has a new of the school she... And he looks exactly like you. She's. I, why am I not seeing the whole message there? I got to look back at this. Hold on a second. What the hell is happening with Ginger Locks? I don't know why I don't see her whole message. Let me get on to my uh, secondary device, Ginger. Okay, here. Uh, Duty Ron, my daughter has a new officer for the school and he looks exactly like you. Oh, cool. So he's handsome, he's bald, and he's fat. That's awesome. All right, cool, Ginger Locks. Thanks for sharing that with me. Handsome, bald, and fat. That's, that's, that's not a good way to go. Oy vey. Oh, the pain. Let me put my hat back on. Uh-oh, low battery. We got a low battery situation. Low battery on the iPhone, guys. I got to plug in. Couldn't sleep, says Joshua. All right, we're going to have no more, no more uh, external mic. We are plugged in and we are ready to go. Houston, let me make sure this is plugged in. 
handsome, bald, and fat. It's not a great way to go through life, but that is the story of my life. Uh, no fat. My kid says fluffy. There you go. Thank you, Cherokee. I, I say it for myself. I would never, ever call anybody else fat, but I call, I'm able to call myself that because, just because. Uh, real quick, thank you to all. I just received 18 new subscribers during this broadcast. Paper Angel, that's awesome. I love it. Thank you to all my Duty Ron family for subscribing to my good friend Sonia, who, like I said, is just emulating nothing but goodness. I'm honored to have her as a friend. So, Paper Angel, uh, you deserve it. I'm proud of you. And definitely go check out her video. And when you check her video out, leave a comment. Let her know you're coming. Let her know you come to see her and you saw her video. And you saw her video here on the Duty Ron channel. Uh, I'm mad at you saying that you're fat, says Jonna. Don't be mad at me. Just, just love me the way I am. Fat and jolly. Anyways, uh, that is awesome. That is awesome uh, that Paper Angel has received 18 new subscribers. She would love to hear from you in her comment section. So leave a comment for Paper Angel. Also, make sure you leave me a comment in the bottom of the video. Uh, like and subscribe. 84 thumbs up up here. Uh, 54 on the Super Chat. Excellent. 47 people in the live. Let's end this on a high note. Uh, I'm going to turn on the scanner just for another five minutes. And then we're gonna we're gonna say our good nights. Does anybody have uh, does any anybody have any questions? Any parting uh, gifts that they want to leave at the door? Anybody want to say anything? I would never call you a fat person. <laughs> well, you're a nice person. I'm calling myself it. That's the beauty of this. I can do that. I can get away with. I can get away with saying that, guys. Really? Okay, I have the chat back. I didn't have the chat for a while. Uh, we love you, Judy Ron. I love you right back. Hi, Garfield. How are you? Uh, any last words for Veggie Vibes? Uh, thank you, Black Rose, for hanging in there for all this time. Red Lotus, love and respect. Joe Schmo saying hello to Angie Payne. Uh, I would never call you a fat person ever, says uh, Ginger Locks. Thank you. Uh, Red Lotus, love to you. Uh, love you to the moon and back. My hubby looks identical to his dad, even same personality. Um, Joey Brooklyn, let's get Joey Brooklyn up there. Joey Brooklyn, where are you at? Where where are you at subscriber wise? Nine hundred and thirty one. Joey's holding strong at nine thirty one. He needs uh seventy sixty nine. Joey needs sixty nine more subscribers. <laughs> Um, so let's get him to a hundred, uh, 1000 subscribers. Let's help Joey. Uh, she, she sucked. I'm mad. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's a good statement right there. I'm mad. Just when I'm leaving the broadcast, I'm sucked back in. You, you can, you, you can leave, but you, you know, you can check out anytime you want, but you can never leave. You could check out any time you want, but you can never leave. I wish I could play that song, but can't do it on here. Can't do it, guys. All right, kitties. I'm going to back out because I got some paperwork to do, and I got a couple of uh, notes to leave. I got some love notes to leave. So let me go. Guys, love and respect. 215 on the AM here in New York City. Let me fix my hat. Let me say thank you to all my moderators. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Life of MC, Veggie Vibes, Maddie Sully, you're a great guy. I can't wait to have lunch with you one day soon. Uh, Angie Payne, love to you. Red Lotus, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I got to go, man. I'm all talked out. I've been doing this for over two hours. Uh, Andrea, thanks for coming in. Cherokee Grandma, thank you for your continued support and love on the channel. Thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, Duty Ryan, like a son. You're like a son to me. Ginger Locks. Ginger uh, Commentator, thank you so much. Uh, Susan Walls, you're, you're fantastic. Joey Brooklyn, a lot of love. You're my brother from another mother. 
subscribe to his channel. Rupal, thank you so much. Winky and Black Rose, you guys are special to me. I, I really am honored that I have, have your acquaintance and met you guys and we're friends. Uh, Jana, I got nothing but love for you. Uh, Katrina, same thing. Love and respect always. Uh, Life of MC, have a great, great evening. I look forward to your next live stream. Maxine from the UK, across the pond, a lot of love. Um, Duty Ron, I can go live. Just kidding, maybe in the future. I'd love to see you go live. Go live now. I'll be on there. Uh, and Katrina, I know you'll be live later, so you'll keep me company later. Uh, Winky Whispers, love and respect, and I will talk to you all soon. Guys, have a great, great one. Thank you for being in here. Sonia, love you, and great, great stuff. Help me promote Joey Brooklyn all night long. I definitely will. Guys, good night, peace and love, and I'll talk to you soon. Joe Schmo, thank you for everything. Veggie Vibes, there we go. There it is, guys. Debbie, thank you. Thank you, Rupal. Bye. Good night, guys.